Fixerbot says. Welcome. Stream starts in 5 minutes. T minus four minutes. Fixerbot says.
welcome to the stream so today it won't be try hack me or anything like that but i'll just work on my python course making myself a bit accountable to actually be working <laughs> intensely on this and hopefully get some company so <clears throat> Just making sure that I'm actually online. <laughs> Let's see if we can hear my YouTube. Um, whatever. I think it should work. Yeah, mic is not muted. And it seems to be online. So. Alright. The... T minus messages got Levenstein uh, in the TTS. So I was expecting to hear them, but I didn't. Hmm. Because I, I would like to have an exception for fix it 42, but and myself for the Levenstein. That means don't speak messages that are a certain percentage similar in one character as these are. Uh, so that would be a request for Security Alive to add, uh, accept these accounts. And since I'm running this as as a bot, it's actually itself, because me as a human, if I type in chat, I can change enough letters, you know? So, to accept the account itself from the Levenstein shouldn't be very hard, right? Uh, let's add a... not to my to-dos, but in the same folder which should be Twitch, no? Yeah, it must be. It's kind of, these lines are not very clear. Because these files are actually in the same location as the folders. It's not perfect obsidian, but it's good. So, uh, TTS, uh, uh, uh feature requests and let's uh, uh, exclude uh, tts running bot account from levenstein i don't know if that's how it's spelled Let's check in the TTS. Nice no, was much more complicated. So let's copy this. <laughs> and apparently it's a name, so let's let the letter be capital. Okay. Um, I think there's something more, <laughs> but I think that may just be bugs that he's gonna fix anyway. When he has time. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's go instead to my Python course here. And I have made installing Python using idle. Zombie says. Hello, Sophia and all. Winrot, hey. Hi, welcome in, zombie. <laughs> um, so, what's up? All good? Um, this is the IRL string that I'm going to change. But when I re just removed all the stuff, it didn't work to IRL string. Um, here, 
I fixed this so it doesn't set the camera when I remote. Thank you. All good here. Great, great. So just to make sure this is okay. Uh, just quickly, if the scene is the big one, now I can switch by just switching in my OBS to the big camera and it works. Uh, not a round circle and switching back to the left scene and it, it's there's a bit of a delay but you can it, you get the round the round camera and if I switch to my IRL one which I kind of updated yesterday uh, we now don't have a camera there automatically <laughs> instead of me manually doing it or doing it in the um, when I connect that way so this works that's good. So, because I just disabled it yesterday, I realized just before starting, for leaving, for doing the IRL test, that this would actually, <laughs> as I clicked my scenes, uh, the camera popped up in the IRL ones. So, uh, I disabled it, but now it's fixed, so it should work. Someone requested to actually have the ad warning. Um, I don't really know why animal would want that except maybe for me, but maybe not to get to like ask a question. Jerome right Slug says, "Morning, fix it." Morning, Tyrone. Is it okay to say Tyrone, or do you want me to say Tyrone's luck? <laughs> so, anyways, um. I'll keep that disabled for now. Uh, yeah, Tyrone's good. The way good. I think it worked. Great, great. Uh, everything good with you too? By the way, um, tell me about yourself. I know a bit about zombie, but actually, I don't zombie. I don't know what you what do you work with. You know, what's your job? <laughs> I yeah, know what you with work, like to do, but I'm all good. Hmm, great. So. Uh, what do you work with? I don't want to intrude. It was private. That's fine. So, uh, let's get started with what's actually I going to do. I mentioned what my work was last week, I think. I'm Mrs. Sadman. Oh, yeah, yeah. I work yeah. from home. Right, that's great. Yeah, I think you did. It's just that uh, last week was kind of intense, especially that long stream last Sitting Thursday. Sitting on my sofa all day. <laughs> Great. Uh, pluses and minuses with sitting on the sofa working, right? Because I've, I've tried that and your back goes kind of <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so a desk is kind of nice sometimes and an office is kind of nice to meet people sometimes. But I would like to have the perfect job in Zombie between, says. you know? Graphic design. Working from home oh, as well. Cool, cool. To run success. Yeah. I've been sitting here every day since COVID started. Okay, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I hope you're comfortable sitting in the sofa working at least, because there's lots of kinds of sofas and lots of kinds of tables. <laughs> Zombie says. Hard to keep up discipline from the sofa as well. Um, depends. Uh, depends. What do you, what works for you, you know? So. Um, let's Luck says, move stream about that little way I do too. try to get up and do a bit of walking around the house. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I think that if you're in the office, you go like on a coffee break. A and few you months ago, I started doing a 10 minutes walk move every more. hour, smile, smile. Mmm, nice. But I stopped doing that recently. Zombie right? says. <laughs> For me it is, I mean smile, smile. Oh yeah, it can be. Uh, especially if you have uh, lots of fun stuff around and the computer, maybe you're working on the computer and just doing like, you have a different, not, let's say more fun things in the computer that you may do, like, attract your attention. But to some people, is someone in the stream, uh, I think it was in... Jerome Sluck says, someone else I have my work laptop on my lap. And my own PC to my left. Uh, okay. Monitor is sitting on a little table next to the sofa. All right, so then you can like have a stream on your own PC and then work at the same time. Nice. 
because uh, I usually do all of it on, on this computer, so... Um. <coughs> Keyboard is resting on the sofa arm, and mouse on the sofa. <laughs> Ah, that's, that sounds perfect. Sounds perfect. I'd like that too. <laughs> but I guess that with the camera and light and stuff and several monitors, it's kind of hard. You can picture it now, I think. Smile, smile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind of see in front of me like a bowl of chips or something too. <laughs> Since it's a sofa and it seems kind of laid back style. Nice. <laughs> Uh, I actually, I got inspired by, uh, um, oh my god, Captain Coder, right? Uh, he had this, uh, Chocolate and a can of Coke reoccurring is movement. Hand. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, I've actually, I've had chocolate and I've had cookies available here. And right now, um, like... Two days ago, I kind of decided not to, you know, trying to get in shape here. <laughs> uh, but as an inspiration from Captain Coder to, he, he does some kind of stretching and things. I should get to that kind of thing regularly. Maybe not every hour, maybe one hour and a half if I do long streams. Too. I think I'll be doing a long one this time. So I had a meeting for my, my son uh, at nine. So, since I usually work <clears throat> from like 8 to 12, it kind of felt like there's no idea to go to there and back here. Uh, I wouldn't have done anything there anyway. Useful. Uh, so, uh, we could, of course, also look at this. I'm, I'm thinking, because the IRL thing, I won't do this on this channel unless it's for testing. Because I don't want to like spam this channel with just like playing games or just running around outside. <laughs> so, but I want to have like relaxing. So these are the kind of things. This was on top, like relax before, but then maybe unwind is better. That's kind of a cool off. I don't think that's, nah, I didn't even get a fixed 42 in front. Um. I think I actually pasted that in the wrong place. Uh, so let's move it there. So um, you get the, the thing, like I want to be able to run in the forest, trying to actually, and other th kinds of training, but I also want to be able to play games. So like play, fine, maybe. Uh, uh, like, if it really takes a break or something like that, or relax, maybe that's not running for most people. But, or taking a walk out in the forest. Maybe, what, unwind? What do you think? Uh, this is on my mind, anyway. I'll have to decide what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Sometime. Uh, but it's... I guess the quality of the IRL stream, except for that it actually died once, the app, Zombie was says. okay last time. Recreation. <laughs> ah, recreation. Yeah, maybe. But it kind of sounds too serious. I don't want it to be serious. So that's why I did the, like, relaxing, just adding a bit of, this is not seriousness, right? So... I also tried with, you can have several exits on relax. <laughs> to run Slug says, add a different. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's add these to the list here too. Love your suggestions. Come with more. They're all welcome. Uh, maybe I should like... Zombie says. I don't think Recess, this one. Maybe smile, smile. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. Um, so, um, let's play break. <laughs> yeah, but play break and running. Hmm. We put some more air. 
Uh, and I was kind of thinking, should I have a vote? But then, now I want to decide myself. Long, but it would mean you could do anything there. <laughs> yeah. The yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think all of them... I could, of course, do anything on any channel with any name. Even this one, so... Uh, but still, uh, let's copy a few more of these so it's easy to just I want them to be easily connected you know that's why they like keep the fix it 42 bit um play break two but I don't I don't think like hmm so relax might have been great if if people would not have been kind of surprised to see someone running in the forest thing. <laughs> we'll see what, I don't even know. Maybe I'll just explore stuff and then it could be like explore, but I don't, I, I'm not only gonna do. Uh, and uh, yeah, whatever. Mm. Well, let's go to what I was actually going to do. I was going to hold myself accountable and do some work, right? <laughs> so that's the names. Um, oh, just zombie says. Memory there. Break it forty-two cock. Translated from Dutch. <laughs> I don't Two think that's. <laughs> Oop, that's today. a funny one. That's a funny one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm going to work on my Python course, it's a plan. Uh, but though, I will says. probably be streaming Stop for like it. eight hours. <laughs> um, so what did the poor bot do? Tyrone Slug says, I like a bit of Python. <laughs> oh, right, right there, I get it. What did it do now? I've never seen that. It usually says dick, actually, if you only had this emote. And then it says uh, another word in that direction if you do... It translates well. law. Yeah, it translates... Silly bot. <laughs> so he's going to add a possibility to remove um, emotes from the translation. Zombie Maybe says. that's nice. The bot translates you... my laughing. Yeah. <laughs> But even if you just do like, uh, let's see, where... Uh, mm, I can't get the right... Oh, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> let's do it with Win my wild. crow. Translated yeah. from Romanian. Yeah, if I use, if I use Winroth emotes it oh, kind of translated odd yeah yeah that was a new one right <laughs> so um i'm kind of thinking kind of co-working but uh, of course just chatting is great too so uh, but i'll try to uh, i have a few hours now and i'm going to check on my kids i'm going to both to you know make sets. lunch and everything so chatting Zombie says. That is the new <laughs> yeah, one. Code chatting. To Rome Slug says. Code chatting, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I should do chatting instead of science on the floor, right? <laughs> and welcome to the mod team. Winrot Pom Pom. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I got another sword in the Winrot music there. Going to help him a bit with the programmatical bit there. Uh, and maybe something else. I hope to get some... Now I know that you work with graphic design. You, you kind of... Now you know, zombie. You're going to get work from me for free. <laughs> You're working for me now. For free. <laughs> uh, so... Let's actually get... Uh -oh. Started working. <laughs> uh, first, let's just move this out of the way. So I'm making a folder for all these Nike and test images. So these were objective tests. Um, let's see, microscope. 
Uh, objective test there. So we have a few less thingies here. Oh, right. And that's something I should do too. That's kind of like a to-do list on my desktop. The other two desktops are filled with icons though. So this one looks, <laughs> it looks too clean from actually how I wish I had it. But you know, you have to put up a front here of kind of more order than there. Uh, it's not, not order, it's just lots of stuff. Jerome Slug says, you're hiding your mess hole. <laughs> Why do you think I have these here? <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it's kind of order there now, but I put some stuff here too. I'm going to stick with a demo. I have, this is a knitting machine, if you can see it. Um, yeah. So I'm going to organize even more. <clears throat> and I'm thinking that if I'm not going to use that, uh, electronic knitting machine, <laughs> Uh, then I may sell it instead. And I only have like five knitting machines. That's why would you just need one? But they're seriously for different. It's like when you're knitting, you have different sizes needles. It's the same there. Uh, but just one of them has that electronic thingy. Zombie says. I need to hide my mess before my bandmates come over tomorrow. <laughs> Jerome Slug says. Immersion <laughs> loss lol. No, but um You know how you always you you see say people post images to like Instagram, Facebook, they just they always clear the out the mess looks good. in front of beside the plate, you know? <laughs> Uh, though I'm, I'm thinking I should move that light a bit there, so it's actually visible, because it's just behind. I am Bob forty three says, Drake. Hi there, Bob. Drake, what? I'm curious now. So, uh, what I was actually going to do was to actually, I, I'm thinking that to actually be able to test if my course it will work for someone not having also stuff Drake? installed already. Yeah, I was, I, I don't know who Drake is. If you're asking me, I'm not Drake. <laughs> but I guess you're asking someone else. So, um, <clears throat> let's just... We have a theme of the color here, kind of. Jerome Slug says, <clears throat> and not Drake. <laughs> well, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. That's a great one. Um, so I'm thinking we need to set up a, uh, actually a virtual machine to, with windows to test stuff in. So maybe this, the Python there is not all. It's, we're actually going to start with setting up a virtual machine. And I need to, for, to do that, I need to get Windows. So we'll start with learning how to find a free image on Microsoft. So let's download Windows and 11. I think I have <coughs> some notes somewhere with this, but we'll see what my throat says about streaming eight hours or something. <coughs> I think I have some there. Ah, organized. There is have there is order candy? in the mess. Uh, mm, yeah. Nice to have some water. Let's so it's only like a third left of the water. I actually have tea, but it's kind of cold because I made it before I went to that meeting for my kid. So it's from 8 and now it's 10.58. <laughs> Whatever. It's warm enough, right? Um, 
at least let's download windows apparently this is where i download windows and this is just going to be a test machine so it doesn't matter if it's like a trial version uh, there are three options below oh i'm not going to install on a physical machine Mm, create Windows 11 installation media. Yeah. On a new or used PC. This is what I want. Before you begin. We have an internet connection. We have data storage. Um, Alright. It's reminding me. Uh, so it's reminding me that I am supposed to practice and uh, learn more on Try Hack Me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was just going to read what it says. So, requirements, I assume that if I set the VM that I, uh, that it will give me the specifications to be let this be allowed to be installed, but I think there are workarounds otherwise, so. Drivers, firmware, driver specifications. Oh, let's, oh, there's the ISO 2. Um, yeah, maybe the ISO is better. Let's do that. Okay, before you begin here too, let's assume that we know what we're doing. I most definitely don't want anything but English. I actually installed Japanese Windows when it was like... Just to test it. <laughs> When it was like, I think it was about 2000, so it was another version, maybe Windows 95, probably Windows 95 or something. <laughs> the menus, it's not real nice. I, I don't even like Swedish Windows. I can't find things. It's horrible to find things when they, everything is named differently. Um... Lang is valid for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So we didn't get a download at once, so I have to click it. What? Link is valid. Okay. That's a funny way to do it. Anyway, this is Windows 11. Um, I'm thinking I'll do a Windows 10 too. And now we can chat without having a bad conscience for seven minutes. Six point three gigs. Let's let's do Windows ten two. Um, and now we got. Oh look! Oh. This is why I don't want Swedish Windows. This is not an actual word in Swedish. Disk uh, picturization thingy. It, it, instead of just saying image, which you would do in Swedish. Because it translates too much. Oh, just an ISO. Oh. They were trying to word by word translate things. We would just say disk, not disk. Uh, we wouldn't say it like that. We would say disk image too, but with a K. Mm, probably. So. Um. We don't want to update, we want to install. Uh, so we don't have a simple ISO here. <clears throat> Though, uh, maybe we shouldn't do this now. 
Or look. Yeah, you can use the tool to make an eye, so. So, if we click this, will we trust Microsoft? Um, I'm thinking this is like, well, almost a third done if I'm optimistic. <laughs> so we don't want to disturb that download with another one. But it's just thinking anyway. Uh, also, this, since I'm downloading stuff, it shouldn't dis disturb the connection. Uh, with streaming, so, but tell me if there's some kind of lag or anything like that. Um, uh, let's of course read all of this, as we always do. Getting a few things ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we're definitely a third. Uh, create installation media. We want all these. Yes. Uh, let's let's make an ISO file. And let's call it Windows 10. Um, also, when I download the other file, did I get a question on where to download it to? Because I don't think my C drive would be the best place. Um, let's see here. We have, a, so far we have 33. So this shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, but I used to have less get space. 111? Oh yeah, it's downloading, so I just wanted both. Uh, also, if there's any problem with installing Windows 11 on this computer that couldn't handle Windows 11, the specifications, then we have a backup. <laughs> so, uh, But I'm thinking I'm going to download this to another I see, yeah. drive. This one. Um, so let's... <coughs> Um, mm, 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 mm. let's do like OS ISOs. Let's put it here. Let's see if it, yeah, if it went to the directory first or just accepted it. So now I'm do downloading both images at the same time, which might not be the smartest thing to do. But they're different disks, so at least not that. That's not a problem at least. Remember the old when you did old times when you did defragmentation of your drives all the time. <laughs> I'm still always thinking of that when I'm copying files from one disk to another, that I not copying like ten different things at once, but doing one uh, and letting it finish before most of the time. So you don't mess up the f you know, the files chunks are on the desk. Ah. Are you mad and it will speed things up a tiny bit? So this one has now we were up to eight minutes. We can just chat without feeling bad for eight minutes. More at least. <laughs> uh I'm actually going to start the VM. Mm. 
So, so far this only has Kali, I think. What software um, do you use for the VM? Uh, VMware. We'll see what happens with VMware. Uh, by the way, um, maybe I should have my OBS up on my third screen so that I can see what screen you're watching easier. There. Uh, so this is what I'm using. Uh, by the way, we, maybe we should take the opportunity to download a third thing at the same time and update this. So let's check for updates, because I think there is one actually. No, I already updated it, okay. Um, but there was some kind of vulnerability in VMware. Um, There you can see it's not as clean. Let's let's screen. <laughs> well, let's start creating a new one. Keeping an eye on the uh, typical create a virtual machine. By the way, this license that I I have a license for it actually, <laughs> um, and I got that uh, cheap from one of these sites where you can sell like. I guess it's used licenses or something. Um, so I've used VirtualBox a few times, I think but I recently installed Proxmox on my spare PC and run a few VMS on yeah. that. Proxmox uses KVM in the background. Yeah, I was thinking of doing Proxmox actually, but since it's, this is on my PC, um, also I'm thinking of using. I have several old laptops like this, uh, and uh, uh, maybe it's better to have like physical servers. Yeah, Proxmox needs a dedicated box. Uh, <clears throat> if I use physical machines for servers, you know, you don't have this problem with uh, the virtual disks. Of course, you maybe you can use physical disks, but I actually tried the other day to just. Uh, I one of the hard drives I have co connected to my computer. <coughs> it has uh, Linux installations on it, so I thought that if I could connect that to VMware and just boot whatever's there, you should be able to do that, right? Uh, I guess I'll have to Google because it's not obvious just by looking at um, at VMware. So. Um, to show you what I'm Petri doing. Home says, when downloading Win10, you have to change the user region to download the ISO. Can be done easy with switching the browser to mobile mode and dev tools. Mm, let's see. Um, when downloading Win10, you have to change the user agent. User agent. Um, but I'm downloading it right now, so um, I didn't have any problems. Uh, we'll see if it pops up when it's finished. Um, yeah, so I was just going to show you that I have this drive here that's partitioned and it can't read. <laughs> Your own slug says anything. No, Is that's that to not the, the website drive. that you're downloading from a different program. But yeah, it's downloading okay now. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, uh, maybe I disconnected that drive. I think I did, yeah. Because I had one where it was uh, a tiny Windows partition because I had dual boot or like triple boot though. Uh, and I had... Uh, I was I was like running trying to run Chrome OS on uh, on the PC, so that was the thing with that. And I think it's meant on one partition, so it it's a kind of messy thing. But I was thinking, why wouldn't that start with VMware? Couldn't I run that with VMware just as it is? Um, so installer disk image. Uh, you you can see when I installed Kali last. Uh, so let's. I've not used VMware to... on top of Windows. We use VMware at work on dedicated boxes, though. Okay, okay. 
So let's see here. We have the the Windows 10 should pop up here. And the Windows 11 one is almost done. And it should be in downloads. And here's my camera. Can we actually see stuff there? No, I don't think so. Since it's connected, that's the camera. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, the ISO has one minute and seven seconds left for Windows 11. Uh, and I'm, of course, it, it's nice to have Windows uh, machines, and I actually have a virtual machine already, uh, but it's kind of got other stuff on it. So I want a clean machine to just test my Python course on. So if I tell people, click this and click this, and they get extra things, because they haven't already stuff installed that I have on my machine. So I, I don't, that's so annoying. The other day I actually looked for how do I do something with Discord, with my Discord group, or Discord server it's called, I think. Uh, uh, and in the instruction video I got on YouTube, they had done something before, because I didn't even have this, you know. But I already read about that, so I knew I had to do another thing before. But that's what I was trying to find how to do. And they had already done that. So they didn't get, you know, you, you need to know the first thing to do before you, so you don't miss anything. If you're telling someone how to, to do something. Chrome used flex. Hash exclamation mark slash bin slash bash Jason equals dollar Krolos web link. Uh, scripting hold down crow. Okay. Okay, I'll copy that. Oh, look at it. Google Cop. Recovery. Because uh, when I did it, it was a few years ago. Uh, and then there were some problems. I don't really remember everything. But we'll, we'll notepad down. And of course, now I'm using notepad again. <laughs> Instead of doing something useful. So let's... Um, I should put this in my obsidian instead, right? F but then it wouldn't be as obvious. As, as now it's on my desktop. And I can see... I have other suggestion things there too. I got a tip for a game here uh, the other day when I when I raided yesterday. I think I got this game tip. So um, you want to get a deal list. So let's go back to Firefox and see if we finish downloading. We are. So let's start first with the Windows 11 one. Uh, so this, let's just update it. This, Windows 11 detected. Yeah, that's right. I've never installed Windows 11 actually, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm just Windows 10, Windows 10. You use the old stuff. Um, well, that's okay. Um, I don't have that much disk space on this one, but this is a SDD, you know, and I think that for this purpose, I don't want to waste my system disk. I'm going to buy a bigger one, uh, so maybe like two gigs instead, because 500, it's so tiny. And I don't even have any games installed. But I have virtual machines, so... Like two. Uh, it's not very good for that. Um, and the other ones are just... Normal drives. And our server. But I think this is the one. Yeah, this is lots of space. So let's make a new directory here too. Um, so there. Uh, 
I think... Uh, will it inst... I'm sure it will make a directory in this one, right? I'm sure it will. Uh, your files will be encrypted. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, thus you have to disable this in Windows 11. Do you really require this? <coughs> Uh, your files will be encrypted using a password you must set, and I don't want to do this. This password is stored in the Windows credential, the system credential manager. Keep a copy of the password in a safe place. You cannot start the game without it. Uh, where's the option to not encrypt it? <laughs> uh, all the files for this machine are encrypted. Only the needed to support a TPM are encrypted. Jerome Slux says, This is a Windows 11 TPM thing, but I think you mentioned being a workaround for it. Um, what I think I meant with a workaround was uh, uh, to install Getting it on a machine that doesn't have the hardware. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I had to modify the ISO for <coughs> 11 in order to get around TPM. Hmm. Um, yeah, maybe. But we'll just see what happens, because, you know, let's do password. I would Jerome never remember that sets. password, right? It looks like VMware has its own built-in way around it, though. Yeah, yeah, I imagine it will emulate the TPM, but I still don't want it to encrypt anything. So that was my thought now. Uh, and if you install it on a physical machine, you would, of course, have to... There there are several things you need for Windows 11, of course. Um, and if you don't have the hardware requirements, you can work around it. Um, yeah, remember this. It's just password. <coughs> The virtual is stored uh, as one of my files. Let it be that. And let it have several files as it expects. That's a default. Let's leave it a default. Uh, do we want to customize the hardware? It suggests this. Uh, I'm just going to test this one for <coughs> for the Python course. So. We can always change it later too. Um, right, I want to see OBS, but I'm on the right screen. So it's creating the disk. <coughs> I'm sorry for my sore throat, <laughs> but it's actually mostly just. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, I've got like stuff in my throat. It's not. It do, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> it's just annoying that I sound like this. Some dried up breakfast bread. But they were without butter and everything. I had a hurt. funny throat last night. It's gone away today though. No oh, good, good. Uh, yesterday when I was streaming and I was reading a lot and then uh, my throat kind of... it started good, but then... <laughs> <coughs> this may be um, uh, allergy things too. <laughs> or allergy medication things. <laughs> you never know what is what. I'm dipping my bread in lemon yogurt. Mm. 
Well, that's kind of slow. Um, we use then provisioning when making disks and VMware at work. Makes it build the disk instantly. This is actually, I think that this disk, the big one, is connected by USB 3. So, um, though I did actually play uh, Diablo 4 on USB 3 disk, no problems at all. So it all depends, you know, uh, if it's going to write a lot of files, but it's just going to read it a oh, tiny bit. Oh, that's also going to slow it down a bit, probably. Yeah. But this is just to make sure that all the files are actually there. And that's why it's nice to have both Windows 10 and, and 11 to test it, to see if you have this, if you have that, you know. If you're going to tell someone how to do something, you should be thorough and don't skip <laughs> like, oh, you actually required this and this and this too. And I'm going to skip, skip um, or rather I'm going to split the Python course into uh, one bit where it's installation of different things. So it's uh, if you want to install, if you have this, install this. If you have this, install this. If you want to run this editor, do this. If you want to run this editor, do this. And then separately, it's the knowledge bit that in your editor you chose, do this. So I'm doing the bit, I'm going to do the bit about idle. I installed some Python modules on this PC and got some code working. But when I did the same thing on my gaming PC, my code didn't work because I was using newer module versions. Okay, okay. Um, okay. It's trying to boot. Um, click the virtual screen to turn keystrokes. Install uh, as you would in a physical computer and then click finished installing. Okay. So, is this like a menu with one option? We'll just let it be there for a sec. It should have the ISO and the disk, so it should be able to manage without the help. Tree says, you must press any key to boot to ISO. Okay, okay. Yeah, but you see, it resolved it itself. We can set the boat order by default we got in here. So that's nice. But if there's an any key, maybe I should just restart this. Let's see, will my keys go to the right place? No. I'm going to click here. No. So. Um, how do I... Oh, Try I again. see myself... No change boot order. Yeah, the problem is my mouse disappeared. Let's see, do control alt there. I've got it again. Um, I have to see what you said. Why is it my scroll is paused in chat? Yeah, yeah, that was... I was, I was trying to do control and delete, but that doesn't work. Escape, maybe. Enter to select. No, we'll just do a, a, oh my god, the mouse again. Uh, let's just be evil and just restart this. The question is how? Um, I could of course just close this, but that's not what I want. I want the VM to... Jerome Slug says, hit it with a hammer. Yeah, I'm sure that would work great. <laughs> so let's reset it. Yes, we want to reset this. And be ready to into the um ready to click something. <coughs> there. Sometimes with new computers, you have to click like mega fast because <laughs> you know, Petrigong says, So I was ready to GG. be quick. Translated from Latvian, uh, we want to use English, English, but we want Swedish keyboard. So 
Swedish. Install. Uh, and I'm used more to installing Kali now than I don't know how many times I've done it. Uh, no, I don't have a product key. The idiots want to test some stuff here. Um, Alright, what do you think I should install? Should I do Pro? Pro. To yeah, own Flux set. That's like my default. Yeah, but Pro. Yeah, okay. Everybody's saying the same thing. <laughs> Let's go for it. I'm thinking if I'm doing a course, will people have home? Are there differences I should know? Um, but since I've never done the Windows 11, um, well, should we accept? No. It's so funny that they even ask as if you would do this, if you would say no. <coughs> Upgrade custom. Mostly just Windows file Install sharing and Windows desktop no, we don't want to keep home. anything. Uh, I missed that. I have to check the chat. What's this Windows file sharing in remote desktop? Okay, they don't have RDP even. In home, but what if you need, they need help with something and... Like Microsoft wants to help them? <laughs> RDP server. Hmm. Maybe that's like a trimmed down version of it. Yeah, it's not in home, I believe. Okay, okay. Uh, I've heard a lot of things, like when I was searching for Notepad, this is part of why I selected 11 first here now, because uh, for Python you could do it just with Notepad, right? But then I learned Got that Notepad is not installed ads. by default. Okay. So if Notepad is not installed by default, and I tell people to open Notepad, that won't work, right? So maybe I should install Home too, just to make sure what the difference is. <coughs> I kind of do. When I do, do YouTube videos, I research a lot, so it's Fixer actually says, good. New follower Twitch. Oh, welcome. New follower Cheetah Bandletoe. Less than three. Welcome, Cheetah Bandito. Uh, let's just do next here. Getting files ready for installation. Uh, and we're going to, if someone hopped in here recently, uh, we're about to work on my Python course, but to do it, I want to be able to make sure that when I install stuff, I have, uh, it doesn't skip steps because I already have things installed in my computer. Uh, so that's why I'm doing it, the virtual machine first, because I needed to test things. So we're installing Windows 11 and Windows 10. Jerome Slug says, back for that. Yeah, great. And it's great that you tell me so if there's something important like not clicking next next I can pause to. <laughs> uh, in part it's better to have um, the mobile app watching Twitch because then you sometimes you just get to something at the side and you can still hear the audio and in Windows if you're watching the browser you uh, you don't get the audio you get the add audio to. You should have the option to use these on the side ads there too, I think. Then the image just gets a tiny bit smaller. Hmm? I guess they get more money from the big ads. Oh, well, this will take some time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I get the ones down the side and at the bottom sometimes too. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, on the bottom too. Um, so, here's where we just downloaded these. But if I go to my notes now, I can show you a bit what I what I have. Um, I think I copied my Python things here. Yeah, and I'm also going to do like a, a more slow a slow course for complete beginners to programming, and a quick one that's like this is how you do things in Python. Uh, compared to other languages, so it's easy. Is it going to be a beginner's guide in Python? Yeah, then both. <laughs> so one here, a quick intro to Python for programmers. Um, these are all the things. So I probably have it in my programming too. Um, Python. Python course, um, and this is lots of notes, of course, but I think I have one with course plan. I, I did copy this. Yeah, so this is copied into the other and I edit it. So like just what what to teach first, um, and all right, like comments too and duck strings. Um, these are just short things. Uh, did I actually start? Yeah, it, it started a tiny bit on these. <clears throat> started doing scripts. I think this was kind of done, like, just... No, maybe this is not what's done. This is, like, the first... Oh, whatever. Anyway, I'm splitting it on installing and... Python tutorial for beginners. And quick for programmers. So... Johannes says... Hey, 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 Winrod, hey. Hey, so Johannes, have you programmed anything? Otherwise I might test my course on you. <laughs> you should do some programming if you don't haven't already done it, you know? <laughs> my kids. Welcome in. Oh, your kids still programming? Or what? Uh, we're waiting for this disk, but it's at 91% now. So we're going to install Windows 10 and 11 to try things. The R program to do what I say, very advanced <laughs> script. <laughs> Winroth claps <laughs> for that one. Uh, oh, I, I wish I could program my kids too. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so we're on ninety four percent. Jerome Slux says. My son has bugs and is down. Sometimes crashes. Have to reboot him, lol. Yeah, my kids do. <laughs> and I have to shake down him. equals code. On my kids in a bit, by the way. <laughs> Grey loves Matchalati says, Where did you learn to code? Oh, I learned to code when I was like a kid, when I was... <laughs> First, I think I just... My, my dad worked with the computers, so we had a computer at home, uh, and it wasn't usual then. <laughs> so, uh, 
he also had these computer magazines and in them there were example like code bits you could type into your but they were like intended for like a Commodore 64 or something like that sometimes and we had a PC so I had to try and mess about with that and then I had programming in school in like seventh grade I think it was uh, and from there um, then we did first we did Pascal, Turbo Pascal, I think, and then we did like a lot of different stuff. It was basic too, and I don't remember everything. And machine code, <laughs> and assembler, and well, so I learned it when I was just Jerome Flux says before I was a teen. <laughs> I learned basic at school. Yeah. My son is in year seven and just starting stuff with scratch. <clears throat> okay, okay, yeah, that's nowadays. It didn't exist back when I was <laughs> that age. <laughs> um, we actually yesterday my kid wanted to learn programming again. My sixteen-year-old, so we actually on his suggestion did a bit of scratch but that was really like videos and well this area didn't need my help but we need he needed me to sit by him still to you know because if i wasn't there he'd switch to something else i don't know <laughs> he really wants to learn but it's hard to focus it's hard to focus um, so I'm thinking I'm actually going to um, check on my kids quick and it's closing up to lunch time too so I'll check what they want for lunch and I'm still on my breakfast so <laughs> should I actually switch mm hmm yeah focus man that's the hard part yeah, so he need, he needed me to be there to foc with the focus. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm just checking to see what they want for lunch first, and then we'll see. Um, I have this. I should ha have my pulse button actually work with this scene, I think, but it's not doing that currently. So I'm looking here. Where did I put it? It's this one. Johannes says. Sophia, no, that's not good. 100 channel point for 10 squats. I have 11,100 points. You understand that is one 110 oh, 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 squats. I know, I know. I know what I did, but I can't, I can't disable it. I can. <laughs> and I also, uh, I will add more stuff, but I'll have to change how my room is first. So I, I can't do push-ups now, Two right? Luck says, I have 3.5k <laughs> points. Didn't want to break you though, haha. -ha. But I haven't done any yet, right? <laughs> um, so this is not very fun, right? To look at the notes when let's let's skip this. Let's and I I'm actually on pause now though I'm not paused, so um if we go to the right screen we can see it actually doing something now. I think with the finish. Says. New follower Twitch. New follower Shadow Tiger. Less than three. Welcome in Shadow Tiger. Everybody should do so cool names. Shadow Tiger. Even Gur. So the last follow it was also some some kind of oh my god, I can't even scroll on this in OBS. Um while Windows continues with installation, I'll check on my kids. Johannes I'll be right back. Hey Shadow Tiger when Rob I can Pompa. still hear you. Fixerbot says. New follower slack in time. Less than three. Yeah. 
Your Highness says. Hey slack in time when rot yay. Slack in time says. Hellos. Johannes says. Welcome in. Sophia is just letting the kids out of the cage, ha ha. She be right back. There. Um, I usually put the, this on the table, but now I heard you, so now I don't have to read chat when getting back. Maybe that's nice. Um, yeah, you have so many kids, Johannes. I'm still seeing the your oldest three, 14, 16, 18, and mine are soon 14 and 16. So, uh, and my 13 year old, he, he, he actually ate 15 chicken nuggets for breakfast. So I don't think he wasn't very hungry yet, <laughs> but I gave my, my bigger one some food quickly. Um, just still scrolling through chat here. Oh, slack in time. Welcome. Welcome. And... Yeah, I'm here now. So let's select our region. And if I click here, can I scroll? Yeah, good. So I guess we want the region to be Sweden, right? Since that's where I'm actually at. If I type S, no. It's only to graphical now. I've got a training meeting in 10 minutes. Should only last 30 minutes though, uh, okay. so be back in a bit. Okay, have a, have a great meeting. Or training. Training sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Hope it's fun. So Sweden and yes. And actually I couldn't type S here. Uh, we used to be able to type T and just go up a bit and then you. Uh, but I just, I already selected the Swedish keyboard. Mm. Do I have to redo everything? So Swedish keyboard. I went English, but I want Swedish keyboard. Uh, no, we don't want any more keyboard layouts, please. It's about so, disk expansion automation on VMware using Ansible, so might not oh. be that boring. Okay, interesting. You'll have to teach us all you learned afterwards. <laughs> So, but Johannes, 
You might want to try my Python course for programming beginners in case you haven't I'll done any programs except for kids. Yeah, do that. Do that. Um, your PC will restart before you continue. Uh, I expect that the reason it wants yeah, my Python to know... isn't that bad, but I would like my son to start learning something. Oh, okay. Yeah, and actually, one part in that I'm Your doing this. Oh, I'm always in for new things. <laughs> yeah. So one reason I'm making the course is that I'm hoping that my 16-year-old, who look, he watches a lot of YouTube, you know, maybe it's easier for him to focus if he can have it in that form, to to. Uh, is autistic, so uh, sometimes it may be easier to hear from the video. I don't know, and also to I'm know how now, long it is and everything. Meeting, so we have to plan a yeah. bit for that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to have a meeting, us too, there. <laughs> You can do that on Discord, of course. Uh, name your device. What do we want this to be called? It's like Windows 11 <laughs> X64 is the VR name. Um, let's name it something. Should we actually include the X2? Uh, X64 or VM there. Uh, so, well, we got a funny spelling. Maybe I should call all my windows for Windows instead. Um, since I'm lazy, I'm actually copying this. Jerome Slug says, maybe you should keep Windows. Ha. <laughs> yeah, it would be Johannes kind of fun. <laughs> I love the good old Windows. Lol. <laughs> uh, so, how much installation do you think we have? Maybe I should like take a snapshot of this machine when it's done. Maybe you can use that to make other machines because you don't want to keep doing this, right? Um, and this disk has lots of space. I think it's almost two terra still on it. So it shouldn't be a problem to take snapshots. On the one that's on my system disk, the SSD, there's not much space there, so... Jerome Slug says, Yeah, I did that on Proxmox. Took a snapshot before doing yeah. anything. Maybe I should even have done it before naming it, but nah, whatever. Uh, how would you like to set up this device? Um, oh my, I guess... Personal use, access organization resources. Yeah, we don't have like any. Though I'm thinking I should set up my own AD and to test stuff with, but mostly for, for hacking it. So maybe that shouldn't be, <laughs> where the machines are still. Um, I like your Minecraft experience. Whatever. Uh, right. This is the sign in. And I think you could get around this in several ways. Uh, anyone remember how to do that? Because I don't think I want to sign in. I'm waiting, chat. Or should I search my notes? Um, I think I, I think have you this sign in, in my window. But after that, you can skip it, maybe. Yeah, I remember that if you dis disconnect your network, right, then you don't get any problems with that. So they can't confirm your login. <laughs> um, so I'm just VM, removable devices. Let's remove the network adapter from this. So it has no network. And then it shouldn't be able to know if this is there. <clears throat> Oops, we lost internet connection. Well... Uh, 
Uh, erase the wedge. You don't need to. Okay. Well. Uh, can we click anything else here? I think maybe we'd have to restart or something or do this earlier. Because now it knows we have internet. I can't click anything. I could click volume. Uh, I'll just search for if I have any notes. <clears throat> My notes, I, I started using Obsidian a few months ago and I removed stuff in there. But yeah, I still have lots of it. text There's files. A way. Yeah. But I have this instruction. So, so I'm just looking. I have some instructions here for different things. Um, Shadow Tiger says, I think you need to put the code something like slash yoga. So I don't think I have it over here though. So images. Okay. Install Windows 11 without MS account. I had the notes there. <laughs> oh, start with no network. Uh, when it asks you to connect to network, Shift F10 for to admin console. Says, Ube backslash bypass row. Fixerbot says. New follower Twitch. New follower Thiza. Less than three. Oh, did I miss a character there? Huh? <clears throat> So let's see, let's do um, shift F10 there. And so my notes to were wrong. Yeah, that. Yeah. I think yeah. you're missing in your notes. So let's see. Um, oh, you can see, right? It's OBS. It's. I have to escape the escape character. <laughs> so it was actually there. Thiza says, Ahoy just passing by. Great to see live courses on here. Hi. Thiaser. Thiaser. I'm out of problem, sorry. <laughs> Thiaser. Is that Jerome okay? Slux says, We don't see the VM anymore. Right. Right, let's go to the right screen. By the way, there's both a redeem to switch screens says, and there's... Yo, you get that right. Oh. Thyser. <laughs> Thyser, maybe. <laughs> maybe the E is kind of silent. Thyser. Oh. Um, it's it's kind of hard with all the names, you know. And sometimes I'll just listen yes. to what the... Uh, what the uh, TTS says. <laughs> I can cheat from people not having TTS. Um, so now you can see the VM, right? So let's type this. O O B E. Um, and then it's a backslash. And I'm not typing. So something happened. O O B E. Backslash. Uh, by. Pass. No. Uh, there um, and let's see did I do something wrong does it need to be capital letters I don't think your your note is actually let's let's copy yours here I don't know why, but the the comments keep <laughs> scrolling down there on in OBS. Jerome Slux says, "Yeah, the in side I caps. found has it in caps." So let's just let's delete all of this and paste this. Can I paste? Come on, paste. No, no, couldn't be that easy. Right meeting is now starting. Be back soon. Okay, have a great time on the training. Uh, bypass. Oh, I think I forgot the N, didn't I? Yeah, I I just typed bypass. No, and it is supposed to be N R O. 
So the R, I forgot the R. So there. Nice. Let's hope it works now. We don't need a Microsoft login. We don't get the question. I'm just eating a bit of uh, bread that I'm dipping in yogurt. <laughs> And now we get this again. But it remembered now. Hmm? Sweden is a region. Mm, and it didn't remember the keyboard. Swedish keyboard. Skip other keyboards. Mm, I don't have internet. We didn't have that before. Um, continue with limited setup. Nice, we have this now. Should we use the same name that we did for the machine, maybe? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Windows. I actually used an I this time. Windows uh, 11 x64 VM. It's the same as the machine. Okay, it can't be the same. Mm. User. Oh, this is real advanced naming, right? <laughs> I don't know to think of, I could have called it like anything, right? So, I'm going the very safe route now and using a password that's very secure. It's password. So, no risk that I forget that. I don't want it to encrypt anything with a password that I will use like so far between in time. Uh, security question. <clears throat> oh my. Do we have to actually make notes of this? Do you know how many cousins I have? <laughs> I don't remember all their names. It's 18, I think. What's, and who's the oldest? Uh, uh, whatever. Let's just do something. I'm actually enter the actual rabbit's name. No. There. He, his name was Lilleskut, which is the... Uh, Bamsa series, <laughs> rabbit's name. <laughs> I wasn't very big when I had that rabbit. So, okay, everybody knows my secret question. Do I have to add more? Seriously? <sighs> Zapir says, Hello, fix it, 42B, 7 rep, shell roll. <laughs> Hi, welcome in. <laughs> I wish I could just bypass the security questions too. <laughs> um uh, okay, I'm making I'm making fake ones here now. So if I go back here and we we'll, we're finding something up here. Uh, let's let's the past name uh, the, let's switch. Um or I'm just making notes. So, um, let's make a new note here on my left screen. Here, here we actually found the uh, getting in without the Microsoft account to, for the installation. And 
um, Windows VM uh, security questions. Better write this down, I'm thinking. So, Q1 pet. Uh, it's called QWERTY. That's a nice name, right? My my pet is called QWERTY. Um, and then we have question two. Uh, uh, so Q2. City where you were born. And this is called apparently the next line on the keyboard. I wonder if anyone actually does this on a real machine. <laughs> Probably. Um, and the third exam security question. Well, let's now, now, childhood nickname. This will be real fun here, right? Oh, the left screen. Um, so, Q3 uh, nickname. And <laughs> I'm continuing the trend there. I don't think anyone had this nickname. <laughs> So we have the wonderful nickname of PVZ. You might want to update your notes username and capital smile smile. Uh, notes username. <laughs> um, you might want to update your notes username. What 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 notes username? This something here. Um, I'm sorry, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm feeling very stupid now. Uh, going back to this one. <coughs> Let Microsoft and apps use your location. Well, we kind of don't have a location. This is a virtual machine. Uh, no, no, no. We don't. We don't have a network. Doesn't you remember we don't have a network? How is it supposed to send any information to Microsoft? Because we turned off the network here, so... Would you say no to everything? We don't want anything, we just want to be done with this. Okay, let's up use advertising ID. Ha! Huh. Hello, Windows! Uh, yeah, and for new people, we're installing a virtual machine to try. When I'm making a Python course, I don't want to test it, test stuff or just how Zombies the installation said. steps of Python are. Nice things. Windows. To be only uh, on my machine, because then, uh, you know, I have stuff installed already. <laughs> So I want it to be a fresh machine, or even f fresh machines like Windows 10 and 11. So. Colin D. Hi, zombie. <laughs> All right, it was translation. Okay, oh, I didn't hear that. Did it say translated from Swedish? I don't think it said, did it? There are different versions where it says the translated from and not, I think. Hmm. Now I have to try this. So if I type in Swedish... Um, Hello, I did some cleaning. Oh, okay, nice. Th that's, a, that's a trap if you work from home, though. To, I'll, I'll just go and do some laundry and I'll just go and do that and that that I need to do, you know? <laughs> Um, uh, my god, I, I, I tried typing in Swedish when I'm talking English, but I was actually typing in English. How could it I try to try and translate it then? Uh, so. Johannes says. Hey there, Martin. Less than three. Can you, can you translate Six, it? It says. One, two, three. Translated from Swedish. Yeah, it says translated from Swedish, but it's a different voice. So maybe that's why I didn't hear it like that. Mm hmm. Interesting. So the one to three is said in the voice that uh, the uh, that's set for fix it forty two account, 
And then I have a certain voice set for that reads the, the names and they translate from Swedish. Zombie says. Hello, the grapevine. Less than three Syrian one heart. <laughs> Translated from Swedish. Yeah, so it says translated from Swedish. All right, we got it up. So this is the first time you see when you start Windows. And our, our great username is visible. <laughs> and now I, I'm actually starting the... Let's see, just checking that I'm on the right machine. So on removable de devices, let's connect the network again here. Because <clears throat> we want to download stuff and things and... Johannes says. The grapevine there. love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, will I? Should I do this in Edge? I'm sorry if I sound like I'm horrified. I I just... Oh, I, I use Firefox. Uh, I use Chrome for the TTS because it doesn't work on Firefox. Zombie says. <laughs> yes, the great grapevine. <laughs> the great wine. Wine Roth. It's a great wine. Uh, do you know where your name comes from, by the way, Johannes? Hmm? Winroth. So, um, this machine, let's restart it and make sure that it starts okay. And um, we can log in with our very secure password as password. Uh, so let's shut down and start it. And then we'll actually, I think we'll do the Windows, um, uh, the Windows 10 one at once. But maybe I can start the other things at the same time. Because I don't think that installation requires yeah, so is. much stuff. And my, my father, father is the great... Okay. <laughs> uh, so let's start this one and make sure that it starts okay. And maybe we should even start doing stuff. But maybe I want to do it at the same time in Windows 10 and 11 to make sure that if there are any differences, I can... I can see that. No, I'm actually recording this. So this is kind of good because then I have you know the image of this also doesn't it automatically feel the resolution I'm in um zombie says winrot brain maybe I could have used nothing as a password do you think that would work So now we have a tiny little machine. Um, the question is, do we want this to be full screen? Maybe I did right click. Nothing, nothing right clicking. It's just low. Okay. So let's go to display settings. Let's do this full screen too. Um, and as I've said before, that I haven't installed Windows 11. I've just used Windows 10, which is kind of crazy, <laughs> actually. Uh, I've used Windows 11 actually at work, but, you know, I don't usually do much digging into the system settings on my machine. Uh, there. So... Um, so display is already at the start screen. We're at the display. That's what we selected. Oh, it's kind of tiny now. Um, scale. And here's the resolution. So we can just set this to be, uh, hopefully, the actual resolution here on the screen. There. Oh my, this is slow. Um, the reason that I'm... One of the reasons it's slow <laughs> might be that I'm running this on USB 3 connected hard drive. So I may have to move the files. We'll see if this is due to that. Or maybe it's just because I gave it kind of low memory and everything. So it's possible that we need to give it a bit more memory. 
Um, we were also thinking about actually taking a um, save this point in time here, taking a snapshot. So, um, I can do that when I this closed. I'm sure. So let's. We started. It went okay. We'll log it in. Everything looks like it should. So I don't. I want to save it in the state. So let's just close this down. Um, maybe we should do it actual right way here. I don't know what it centers this. We have to change something. What should we do? Oh right, we could center the start button so it's not in the corner, so people can't find it. So it's a good choice. To do. Uh, oh my god, this is so. I could see it thinking there. I clicked the start button. Uh, I better not click anything else here. I think we need to give this a bit more resources. <laughs> And my PC has uh, 32 gigs of RAM. I would like to have more though. And I noticed when I opened it that it didn't have more slots for RAM that I thought I had. So that's my old more and more that kind of died on me. That's in the store there. I had, I had lots more slots for. Uh, oh, there's, there's stuff on top of it so I'm not pulling it out now. <laughs> I was thinking of showing you. Um, there, nothing happened. I'm just clicking a random place on screen. Clicking the start button again. There. So this is what the start menu <laughs> looks like. Really. Oh my goodness. Um, though I don't like to do like getting a classic start menu. I want to use whatever is there. So... Waiting, 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 waiting... Oh, even the shutdown <laughs> thing is slow. <laughs> It's not like an animation, it's more like separate images of odd states. <clears throat> well, since I need to do this, I may as well do it while having company. Let's just that. <clears throat> Doing boring things like installing Windows with company instead of alone. <laughs> But we'll do more fun things, I promise, I promise. So let's uh, hop back here. We have this done. And we can go back to the actual course. Um, and I'm a bit embarrassed to show this, that's why I kind of skipped quickly. But if I'm going to work on it on stream, uh, it's not a secret really. <coughs> and I kind of say, like, hi, welcome to this tutorial on the other tutorial, so... Uh, and I make a background, my, my background screen image, like this, but I have, like, this, these are the parts of the course, and I have here, like, today we will do this, and this episode, so it's easy to see where we're at. Um, so now we actually have nothing here. It's finished. So if we do... <coughs> Let's just unfull screen it. Because I think there, yeah, right, if we click the home tab, we'll get this button. Create a new virtual machine. And we use the typical, and this time, instead of Windows 11, let's use the Windows 10 one. And Windows 10 one should be in, I think it's on this drive, on ISOs. So now it's finished downloading this. Also, 
the windows here let's see um it's done the iso through this program <coughs> it'll probably try to burn an iso to nothing because i don't have any cd on this machine uh anyway let's just select this uh and it detects is windows 10 I'm sorry, should I have one of those that Johannes has a burp counter? <laughs> no, that's... no. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> anyway, virtual machine name. Sure, go for it. Location. No, we don't want some C virtual machines. We want this to be on... the unnamed new volume virtual machines uh i think it actually created the virtual machine right there uh and that was not what i wanted it to do because i i, I kind of guess that it would make a directory it didn't do that um so before i do this let's just look at this and if we edit the settings here, I would assume there's a path there. Here, working directory. But there's also something else, the working directory. The actual directory. Well, we'll see. Uh, I'm just going to move it. <coughs> I'm so sorry, my... I have stuff in my throat. Um, uh, to let you see stuff without switching screens all the time so we have virtual machines and here we have all the files for this one let's make a directory with the same name here this name and it's shut down so we just move the files over here there and we change this there exactly so just quickly browse through these settings if there's anywhere else there's a path here we have the configuration location so can't edit this no i can't edit it um I may actually just cancel this and let's just open and go to this directory. I think this should be fine. <clears throat> so now we should have the correct path there. Uh, ISO image. Well, that's not what I wanted to see, but that was what's there. So if we look at the options here now, we Jerome's have the correct says, path. Hi, and the correct path. Oh, welcome back, Tyrone. Welcome back. So, how did it go? That was quick. <laughs> Time flies. Oh my god, it's already been an hour since I checked uh, on my kids for food. I'll have to ask my other kid again. So. What I learned. Always remember to tell the script which VM you want to expand the disk. Otherwise, it will expand the disks on all VMS. Ooh, okay, okay. That's good to know. That's not at all something you should ask if you give it no information on which one to do it to. Uh, I just moved the VM because it wasn't actually made... Uh, it didn't make a subdirectory as I assumed. So we had to make it ourselves. Um, just didn't I have a directory open? But they are fixing the just script now. to not run if the VM name is empty. Okay, good. Good, that's smart. Um, I thought I just had a folder open, but we'll just go there anyway. So, uh, now this is in a directory. It was 
right here the files in the root so go ahead and move it uh, so now we can make a new one weather windows 10 and it doesn't remember the aborted one because I aborted it to change the other one um, maybe no that's the windows 10 one this should be on this yeah here here it is so I should move the windows 11 one there too so this should be quick though maybe I should give it more memory <laughs> or maybe I should let this one have a low memory and give the windows 11 one more if I want to run them at the same time so let's keep the default suggested numbers here um, and how much memory does this one want there? 2 gigs so I think Windows 11 also the default was 2 gigs and I think that was not uh, a Windows good idea Windows 10 and Windows 11 VMS have 8 gig of RAM each I don't run the Windows 11 one all the time though yeah, but I'm thinking these are just for Python, so I thought I, I'll try the defaults. But the ele Windows 11 one, when I clicked the start button, it was like... Okay, will something happen? Oh, did I click wrong? And then finally it opened, so... I, I run think... OBS on my Windows 10 VM, smile, smile. Oh, that's kind of cool. Does it work? Um, so you run Linux as your main OS? I you assume? must suppress any key to boot from DVD. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Do you mean I should actually pay attention to the virtual machine when I have people to pay attention to? Well, that's the wrong priorities for me here. <laughs> so, um, I don't think there are any problems with an Windows login on this one, but maybe there are. Should we... Should we disable the network for the installation? That's I run Windows 10 VM easier. with OBS and stream about for a 24-7 stream I run of my bird box. Okay, cool. Uh, so, tell me, bird box. Tell me about that. Um, so, let's uh, shut down. Uh, re oh, reset there. Reset. Um, um, and actually look at the thing and click so we can touch the keyboard. Oh my. Hi, how slow can I be? So many tries. Oh, whatever. It's starting, finally. So, what is Bird Box? Tell me. It's running on my spare PC running Proxmox. So it's a dedicated to VMS. Mm. Okay, good. A box for a bird to live in. Smile, smile. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, you see it's the in my back garden. Okay, cool. With a Raspberry Pi attached to the side of it. Oh. And a Pi camera. Oh, cool. Oh, you'll have to show me that setup sometime. Hmm? Sounds fun. It's and the birds, of course. HTTP. Hmm. So on Proxmos, there's a Windows one connecting to there are no birds or getting. In it. There's no birds in it. <laughs> Okay, uh, so connecting to the Raspberry Pi, what do you use? What protocol or program do you use to connect OBS to the Pi? Hmm? I'm curious. Uh, so, English, English, keyboard, what, Swedish? There. And I stole its internet connection, just to be sure. It doesn't do more than we want it to here. Uh, we don't have a product key. 
I stream it over HTTP using MJPG Streamer. Okay. Mm. Is that a good way to do it? If you have a, like a stable setup like that? Interesting. I have to copy this to Google later. So, or maybe you can send me some and good I'll links. just add the HTTP stream as a browser source. Mm, yeah, but that's smart. That's smart. Okay. Web link. So, yeah, so the MJPEG streamer. Okay. Oh, well, I'll have to look at this. That runs on the Pi. Yeah, so it's kind of a web server that sends uh, the uh, image there on the site. So let's uh, I'll just open the website here. Uh, I'll have to read this later. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, just a web server with a stream from the Pi camera. Hmm. Nice. Cool thing. Uh, the only thing so far I have, I bought pies, so let's see, uh, two of these ones. It's uh, before the five arrives, so it's uh, eight gig, four ones. Uh, and Still one no of them is Kali installed. It's been up about a year. <laughs> you, they haven't come yet. Mine is you put some food in there, eat. they'll probably come. Yeah, yeah, because you don't need that much. Uh, I got these, I think it was like, they were very hard to get, and then it, so I got a message old, like, oh, no, you can job. get them. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I I think the Pi 2 is probably good for lots of things. Got one minute, 20 ads. Okay. Oh, let's continue with the installation. So, let's do Pro, I guess, again. I don't think I have ever installed anything but Pro. Well, let's see how long time this takes. We probably should be doing something else. Uh, I'll go check on my kids again. I'll be right back. Back now.
Okay, so I'm reheating some pancakes for my kids. Uh, and they will take like five minutes more, probably. Uh, maybe a bit more. Should I think? I think since this is my right screen, uh, of course I know what to do. I'll just drag this all over to my left screen. And then we can actually use my pulse one. I'll have to make the pulse one more flexible to actually look at what scene it is and put the video of that here instead. So, um, there. So, and Tyrone, I, I heard when you were, I was downstairs when you got back from the ads. Sorry about the ads, people. Uh, oh, there's a background on this one too, right. Because it's actually from this one and I converted it to be able to like show a video, but I'm actually using the screen for that, so. Uh, I heard the microwave. I'll be back in five minutes.
there. <laughs> the kids got pancakes with strawberry jam and cream. <laughs> then I can sit here and work for it, right? So, um, region. Let's click this. Uh, actually, one reason <laughs> I didn't do that pause thing before was <laughs> actually. I forgot to remove it. Let's see if I click it now. Well, yeah, my, my my mic is not muted or anything good. Because I was thinking, what's it talking to no one? <laughs> um, there, we do this. So let's do it on the normal VM screen. Uh, and... I keep reminding people, you can switch, when I forget to switch screen, do it yourself, you can do it. You both have the commands and you have redeems. So, uh, so let's go up here in the list. Sweden, Sweden there. Um, I do set the reading costs of time mostly. And the keyboard, <laughs> for obvious reasons. There. Uh, if anyone have never seen another keyboard, you would click stuff that's not on the keys would appear. Uh, so if you click the Swedish ah, you would I don't know what you would get. <laughs> um, no, we don't. We just want to skip that. Uh, I kind of feel that it's kind of, since this will be a long stream, uh, I'm thinking it's kind of good to take this easy, relaxed tempo. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, let me just adapt. So maybe good that we did the... Uh, the removing the network thing. So Windows... It's not a QWERTY keyboard then? Yeah, it's a QWERTY keyboard. But it has... Uh, uh, after the U, I, O, P, then there's an A key. Um, yeah, you can just Google Swedish keyboard. I'm thinking, should I start my camera on top just for that? But, ah. <laughs> I can show you my keyboard. It's... Eh. There's a camera on my keyboard cord, though. There. So... Let's see, I don't have autofocus on this one, but you can see the Swedish keys there. It's different. So... Um, who's going to use this PC? All uh, right, I think I didn't do spaces, of course. X64 user, just use the same type of name I used for the Windows 11 one. The VM name plus user. No, I actually had VM here and here too. That's annoying. I didn't... I click beside the field and then I can type. Yes. So, Windows 10 x64 VM user and the machine itself had this name on the other one. So this is a user, so let's be there. A super memorable password, like password, right? It doesn't say it has to be safe. Well, this is just for testing stuff on. Uh, create security questions. Okay, so let's do the QWERTY nice security, very secure security questions we did last time. <laughs> um, so I hope they have the same questions. I don't have to do, yeah, pet. It's the same ones. I saw the sense this is a Windows 10 that's updated. I assume that most of the things would be kind of similar to Windows 11. 
like this. Uh, city you were born. Yes, yeah, city. And then we continue the next line of the keyboard. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six keys. There. And nickname. Yeah, the third one is the same too. And apparently we had a nickname that's kind of hard to pronounce. Uh, I wouldn't want to try like... Skzvbn? <laughs> Oh, and we just knew everything. Doesn't remember we don't have a keyboard again. No oh, key, no keyboard. You know I meant network, right? <laughs> I disabled the network for this. Hi again. So I actually got some more bread for myself. So I'm dipping some bread in yogurt here again. No, actually, soft bread. Because <laughs> I still have my breakfast yogurt. I took far too much. <laughs> so, if if someone thinks it's annoying with eating noise, just tell me and I'll mute the mic when I eat. Okay? I don't want to torture someone. <laughs> I know some people are like, oh my god, that sounds horrible. This might take several minutes. I think actually yogurt is good for the throat when you have kind of like <clears throat> a scratchy voice. Feels like it anyway. Feels nice. Almost there. This kind of looks much better to me <laughs> than Windows 11. Though it's telling us the wind Microsoft Edge is so wonderful. <laughs> New browser Edge. Well, let's turn on the network, uh, fix the background and try a restart. So this one is finished and then we'll make snapshots of both machines. So we have a, unfortunately then we names, machines finished to just use. Let's see. Uh, why am I new? Because I was actually looking for display settings and then I started talking about something else. <laughs> We're on the display already. Let's switch this to... Am I blind? No. There. And let's do full screen to make sure this actually looks like it should. Oh, when we do full screen and increased... Also, I noticed when we increased the resolution for Windows 11, it got really laggy. So it's an obvious thing. But I guess these virtual machines that are actually on the USB 3 hard drive, they kind of use this hard drive as memory, right? Because they have so low memory. Um, two gigs each. I think I'll have to increase the memory also for this machine. So they'll have four maybe four and six because they only have 32 um <clears throat> maybe i'll give them eight each but that's this this one can have four first let's give it back the network and do a restart to make sure that everything works as it should and after that we'll do this shut it down and make a snapshot so first let's restart by its internal stuff here so, our do who says I did click. The Maybe key. it will be better after you install the VM tools. Yeah, it's possible, of course. Yeah. Okay, start. 
Uh, and this. Maybe I should do that now before starting it. Because uh, I think maybe that pop up that we have disappears. I guess this is what this button does. That's why. Mm -hmm. You think it did anything? Or just setting it as a done? Well, let's do the restart. <laughs> this is slow. It's painful. Um, I'm going to buy a bigger disk to have as SSD, like a 2 gig one. And I should probably do that quite quickly. And then I'm thinking the 501 can be only for VMs. Uh, so it doesn't have to. <laughs> I didn't want to waste more of my system partition, you know, uh, for the VMs to fill. And this is just for the Python course, too. So, But I imagine I'll use these for other things later. Especially if I'm making new machines of those snapshots. So the Windows 11 one. Um, maybe we should finish this one. <laughs> because of my computer has limitations too, you know. Even if you set limitations to these. My breakfast became brunch because now it's Almost 13. So usually in Tuesdays I'll start streaming at this time probably. Uh, but today I had a meeting in the morning so I couldn't go working. So then I thought why not start streaming at 10? So I did. Um, kind of 10. I don't know how long I've been streaming. Yeah, two and a half hours. So 10.30-ish. I'm kind of interested in this way to have the VM. So a VM that's not on, it has a tab still? Or you open it this way? By the, from the files. There's no list like these are my VMs I want to use this one. Uh, before using this I did quickly use the free version but before that I was doing uh, oh my god what's it called the free one you know. I just totally lost it. So there you have this menu where you can select machines. And this is kind of odd. Maybe I should just close these tabs when I don't use them, but I guess I can reorder them too. Can I? Yeah, it did. <clears throat> so now we have Windows 10. This is what I usually see in the morning. Or I would see this in the morning if I actually ever closed my machine. So our Ultra secure password password. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be secured. It was supposed to be... What did it say? It says something like easy to remember maybe. I don't know. I don't remember what I was supposed to remember. Um, this kind of annoys me. So let's... Now well, let's keep this as standard as possible. Hmm... Uh, whatever. So, uh, I wonder if these tools have been automatically installed now, or if I need to do anything. I did click the start menu twice now. I definitely need some fix in there. Um, how do I check if the VM tools are installed? Probably they will just be as any other app, of course. <coughs> 
I believe that the button I'm done installing and it knows that it's Windows 10 is enough for it to actually install it by itself. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, the, the delay of things. I did click. I think I did click. <laughs> right. Maybe not have the full resolution. So. <clears throat> I want to click this, but will it be able to while well, this is loading in the alternatives of the menu? <laughs> I did click, just so you know, I clicked. I believe Windows 10 just sets the name itself for a machine, doesn't it? I don't think you got the question compared to Windows 11. There I got the question of the machine name too. I guess it would, maybe in Windows 10 it was considered too hard for the user to set a computer name. Because <laughs> I know that my machine has a, had a very random name that has changed. And that's not a change that I think anyone, any user would do. So, has it actually... <clears throat> it didn't manage to click. So, let's try again. Oh, I saw movement. And I just want to check now what happens if I maximize this window. Do we have VMware? We could search. I uh, see nothing. So, people who work with us, do you usually have to manually install VMware tools, or will it automatically do it? Doesn't seem to be installed, at least. Uh, and... I may not have that priority. Though, it might be a good thing to do just to make sure you know how to do it though. So I do think a few years ago when I installed that other Windows 10 VM, uh, I believe I did that, but I don't remember even if I did it manually or automatically. Maybe it doesn't have the tools. Mm. So let's Mm, the mouse movement is like, I think it's it bad. The menu. Yeah. Yeah, right. Let, let's try it first here then. Yeah, install VM tools, right. I've seen that like a million times. Um, make sure that you're logged in to the guest operating system. If you see VM tools installed, you press Windows Log key. If you do not see, okay. Um, okay. Oh, it's popped in the CD. So depending if I have automatically installing on, or automatically open the CD maybe? Nothing happening. Why don't they show it when I have this mode? Well, I guess I did this to myself. <sighs> so let's do D and set up. And yeah. <laughs> The delay made Sometimes me think. I remember I had to go in my computer and then the CD drive and manually start the installer. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the same thing as doing that. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing as this, of course. They're just trying to make it easy for people not to open and click stuff. Uh, <laughs> the, when I was typing, the delay of the letters was kind of very noticeable. So... Maybe... <laughs> I should invest in a new computer, too. Now, there's an odd delay in some of the sound too. I noticed the TTS was kind of broken there too once. Mm, so... Yes, we want to use all this. Waiting, waiting... Um... Let's let's give it a challenge and see what happens if I start this one at the same time. Yeah, it's been moved. I moved it. Notice I moved it. Because I didn't... It needed to be in the subdirectory of my virtual machines, not in the root directory of that, so... That's why. Eating while streaming. Well, if I'm if this is going to be like past seven hours, I need to eat though. <laughs> but still, sorry. And if, as I said before, if anyone is annoyed by the sound or something, I can mute myself. I think I'm almost done now. No, oh, that's slow. So, um, what would you expect the reason for the VM to get quicker with installing the tools? Maybe that it would set something to... Well, I'm not actually a real machine, but if someone does... Yeah, so this is a workstation, so that it will have to compete with the main OS on this. Um, maybe I move my camera a little bit. Right, let's turn this screen a bit more. Mm. Keep sitting on the side of the, the camera. Tell me if I do something strange, like bumping into my mic all the time. Oh well, this is slow. This is the Windows 11 one. I should have given it more memory before starting it. Uh, this one has at least started the installation. Mm. There we have a click. Let's typical this. It's probably from the menu I did it the last time too, on the other machine. Oh, that audio. So delayed and distorted. Does it mean this one has done something? Oh no, we have an install tools button on the Windows 11 one. Can you see that? So it actually suggests it. The guest slash VM tools are for compatibility as far as I remember. I remember it helped for video a lot. Okay, okay. That's good, because I'm mostly thinking like copy and paste, being able to drag files to your computer and back, things like that. When it's on a PC like this. Um, but of course it could be other things. It's install, VM mouse. 
Okay, it requires a reboot. So let's reboot once more before we save this as a snapshot. I've clicked a few times. Yes, we want to restart this. Um, this should start quite quickly, what do you think? <laughs> will it be horribly, painfully slow or will it be quick? My normal computer, which this is running on, um, it's not very quick to start, unfortunately. <laughs> that was kind of quick. Password. So, now it's restarted. All the tools should be installed. Um, if we do full screen now. Yeah, I think actually the mouse movement now it's smooth. It was bit laggy before if I click the start button. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely better. Definitely. So if we just shut this down with a normal shutdown here and we give the same thing to the Windows 11 one. I'm just checking my notifications here. All right, I need to make a phone call to Check on my mom. So let's see. Um, right. Yeah, the tabs are here actually. I didn't notice that before. So if we go to the Windows Low one now, this one is closed. This Kali one is closed too. And this one is closed so it's not closed why is it black oh <laughs> it fell asleep so oh my god let's debug this horrible problem the screen is just black oh okay i did type password long before it actually popped up on the screen <laughs> so Let's see what the tools can do for this one. This is an interesting experiment in itself, actually. Instead of just... <coughs> just for These are for the Python course to test stuff on. But this is interesting to see how much quicker will this be when we install the tools. Yeah, we know. Uh, it puts a CD in, but we have to make sure it runs. So, will anything happen? I don't think so. Which is kind of good, right? That Windows doesn't run things. There it popped in the CD. And there we could have clicked to play it. So, let's just run it. Oh my god, I can't spell exe. Um, just making sure this is the right machine. Why did it remember these at Abixa? Okay, it's trying to start it. Why? Hmm. Was it just because the, the CD is in there? That's in the auto run? I'm curious. Well, well, let me finish this food before we actually get started. <laughs> Hour after hours of preparations to do tests and souls of that audio. Uh, I don't think I usually have audio on virtual machines, so that's kind of horrible. This yogurt is so sweet, it's too sweet for me. I should have blended in some natural yogurt. Now this one's up. I think. Mm. 
have a blueberry or two. So sweet. Equally as cold tea as that yogurt was warm. Everything the same temperature. Uh, do you want... Oh my, look at the mouse key. Or the mouse pointer. It's so laggy. And it's very dark, the image. Because it still had that filter on. Ah, was just the click, okay, you know. You want to run this, really. Okay. Windows backup. <laughs> Remind me of one in, again in one year. I have to see what the options are here. But it's busy. <sighs> and as soon as I'm done with the food, it's time to sleep. That's what my body thought, eh? Time for a nap. Well, let's. Did it notice I clicked? That's always a good question. Hmm. Waiting and waiting. Um. So, while this is doing its slow thing, I'll try to click this once more. So no thanks. No, definitely notice. Uh, and the VMware installation is still going now. I'll, uh, I'll let it finish. <coughs> I don't think it would take that long, right? Although you never know on this machine. Or on this VM. With two gigs of memory, what what does the Windows 11 recommendation say about two gigs of memory? It's still preparing to install. <laughs> okay. <coughs> <coughs> it's kind of fun though to have an actual log of this <laughs> in the stream. <laughs> I have proof how long it takes these settings. So, wizard is getting ready to wizard. So, give us some magic here. Magic the speed of this machine up, please. I never thought about that before, that, that VMware tools actually sped things up, but that's because never I've been crazy enough to try and install a machine on the default VM settings, which were VMware suggested 2 gigabytes for that, so it got the default settings this time. <laughs> I've never seen these speeds, in other words. 
So now we can manage to move the mouse pointer and click next, next. Um, I kind of would like to look at custom bit. Now I feel I just want this finished. Um, maybe I should have started with the the course bit. Not the testing bit, but the oh. script bit. But I think that this is actually what I needed to do the most because this is real boring to just do. So. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually kind of tired. Oh, I guess this is not very much action either, so. I could have done like soldier or something. Meanwhile, should have done that if I had thought about it. Now I feel a bit late, though I'm almost finished. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Can I be quiet? That's the question. Should I be? Okay. Hmm. I noticed it saying removing backup files, and we noticed also the graphical resizing. There we have the message with mouse and stuff. Finished. So. Let's do the restart, and then both are ready to be saved to snapshots. <sighs> ready to be broken? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, in case, well, in case that the Python installation would break them. Um, <clears throat> what I didn't really want to do, <clears throat> of course, for uh, for recording a YouTube video, I would like to have a real clean machine to just like film the installation, but also. Um, I kind of just fell asleep in the middle of a sentence, um, what I was going to say. <laughs> no, that's, well, um, I think I was about to say that, uh, I don't, I want, yeah, right. I was going to do the idle bit. Then you should I make want, some I want, smile, smile. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's one reason to get a snapshot. But also, now this is a fresh, totally fresh uh, installed machine with Windows 10 and Windows 11, and we can use them for other things too, right? Not just for this. Uh, so now let's shut this one down too. And I think the Windows one, did I close it down? 
I'll just have to look at this. Okay, so this is like random stuff. This is the parts I always remove from windows. Okay. Nice to know they have a special spot now. Um, so... Actually, I liked when when Windows had widgets on the desktop. I kind of like that. They, re they removed it and then they put it in like the starter menu instead. Why? So now both these are shut down. Both have installed VMware tools. And both have two gigs of RAM. No, this one has four. Look, it has four. Yeah, that's... That would have been too bad if it had two. So, okay, great. I'm still thinking that I should double both of these RAM there. Uh, but let's do the snapshots. So if I have this one selected and then I go to the VM and snapshot. Uh, maybe we should go to the manager instead. Can you select more things there maybe? So this is Windows 10 x64, plus it's called that. Uh, clean install. Uh, let's do fresh install instead. And it's. Should I like do the version or something? Nah. It's fresh. It's fresh. there and i'm so lazy so i copy that we can use the same name <laughs> with one character change for the other one so let's go to the snapshot manager and look at this there it is fresh so <clears throat> And let's look at the clone here. Clone. Yeah, so we can make different machines of this, right? Hmm? And enable template option is advanced, okay. Okay, other users now. We don't need that. Hmm? Nice. So let's pop up menu. I would actually like it to go to the normal menu when I don't have any one started. So let's do the same here. Snapshot, take snapshot, paste my cheat laziness and take the snapshot. <coughs> take the snapshot. I don't know which is worse, coughing, losing the voice or just, <laughs> I don't know, allergy sneezing all the time. Is that an alternative too? Can you select which one you would rather not have? <laughs> it's allergy times. So if we click the snapshot manager here too, and we can see the details for this one. Show auto protect snapshots. Let's see, do we have any more? Let's see what auto protect is. Okay, okay, so those will automatically take snapshots. Okay, that's not anything we want, but we can clone it there and do stuff. Okay, so now we can actually use them. Um, what do you think? Most people who would want to learn Python, would they use Windows 10 or 11? I would guess 10 though. What do you think? But maybe they just bought a new computer and it has a Windows 11? Or b bought a new computer in the last few years? How many years? <laughs> Linux, Linux yeah. Key. Translated from Linux. Yeah, right. I actually, I was thinking, should I do this for other... I don't have Mac. I, I I refuse to get a Mac. But I could do it for Linux and Mac would kind of be in there too, right? Uh, but 
if they want a basic tutorial with a new kind of never programmed before thing, I don't think they will use Linux, right? <laughs> so uh, they could watch the skip the old installation bit. Um, and just go for this quick intro of Python that I'm going to do. <laughs> Assume they have some knowledge of computers if they use Linux. Unfortunately, it's still I got not... a Mac just to have hands-on experience. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, I, I did try clicking on someone's Mac a long time ago, and they still had just the one mouse button. And fine if you say, well, it was Apple that started with a mouse but I don't count the one button ones really, actually. <laughs> but, yeah, of course I do, but I do like the keyboard and the terminal too, so just trying to straighten my cords here for the actual mouse when I'm talking about it. It's all over the place and kind of going. Now it's this. a 10 year old dust grabbing gray thing. <laughs> okay, so, so you bought it. Because you wanted to have hands-on experience, and then you never got the hands-on experience. It just gathered dust, or did you actually use it a bit too? Because otherwise, it sounds kind of expensive not to ever use it. <laughs> um, I'm thinking here. So, uh. My kids got food yeah, a bit ago. I used it like three years. Okay, okay. But that's kind of, you know, the normal use time official in companies for computers in three years. So it's not that short. Um, also, the last time I touched a Mac was probably 25 years ago. And that was just like. Oh my god, I can't click. <laughs> what do you need help with? I'll probably help with that one. That's usual. <laughs> that, that's the funny thing. When you need to help someone with their computer and you don't know anything about the software they use daily and you still understand it at once, you know? And you can help them with it. And then why? Because they don't dare to try to click things and think that the computer will just blow up. So that's a primary thing to do, really, just to try things. And they don't. They don't dare to. Some For some reason. <laughs> um, let's I switch screens, right? So we don't have the, the VMs already, so we can use them. And how our very good security stuff. Let, let's add the password here too, just to make this complete, right? So the password is password. Here, here we have, this is how security should work, right? You don't need more than this. Hmm? Um, there. It's saved for in case I would ever need this. I don't know why. The password is there. Um, what's the first thing you would try? You probably try something harder than password, right? Better save it. <laughs> the best security is doing password with you no extra characters. You could have written a description on the snapshot. Smile, smile. Yeah, yeah, I could have. I could have, of course. I can still, I guess. Should we do that? <laughs> Let's look if we can edit the description of the uh, the snapshots. I would assume we can. So if we click this, we can edit here, right? So, uh, password. Um, you know, laziness wins, and I'm actually copying all of this. There. Can you read that though? It's ah. Uh, let's add some space in here. Oh, that's the security. Good idea, thank you. Because, you know, memory is memory, and that's not. <laughs> uh, so, how would I save this? Will this automatically be saved? If I click here now. Yeah, but they added the extra new lines. <laughs> so, if I click here and click here. 
Oh, that looks better. So let's copy this. So it's it seems to be saved. Uh, so let's look at the Windows 10 one too. And we have exactly the same information here. Uh, as the menus popped up on my OBS over there, I had to look what it was that moved. Good and bad things <laughs> to have things visible like that. There. So let's make sure it still stays there. Good. Close it. Um, yeah, let's just increase the memory too. Can I just click here and it pops up right? So I'm thinking uh, memory. Didn't I click memory? Now I click the two for processors. That could be okay. Uh, so can I pull this? Oh, this is this is always hard because this is not exact, right? Well, that's nice. Okay, four thousand ninety six. So let's um just okay this. This will save. And it says four, so let's go to the other one. And all right, we can click here. And then we pull this up to eight. Stay on eight, please. I'm trying to move it slowly there. Um. Yeah, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Well, then the VMs are done again. <laughs> they also have double memory. I would assume it would be quicker and nicer to run them, especially if I'm recording later. Uh, I would like to record that. By the way, let me check just... Mm -mm. I'm trying here to click in between things. So let's just see how much memory I use now when I'm running OBS. Uh, and it's not that much, but if I would run both machines, we would have uh, 8 plus 4, so 12 more, but we're still not up to 31.9 or 32. We're two thirds to the maximum then, so. That should be okay. Mm. So, and uh, this is probably helping too. That's a 1080p. What am I saying? P's automatically pop on to 1080, right? <coughs> it's a GT GTX 1080, of course, not a 1080p. <laughs> Uh, I've been doing too much with the IRL streaming, switching back from forth from 1080p and 720p. Uh, so this is like what should I call it? Should it be like more serious Python basics tutorial or Python for noobs? Or we'll see. Um, this is kind of. Yeah, like the videos. That's the reason why I want more plans before I... Or even maybe have the videos done before I put anything out or start recording. Because in the first video I want the whole layout so you can like see what's going to be later in the course. And I can't do that unless I'm kind of certain <laughs> uh, what's supposed to be. So this is... Uh, on my background, I put like the 
the different parts on the side and then what's done in this part and I go down it like that and then the next video I plop down there and these things are what we go through in this video so but if it's simple things maybe not so it's like but not have money things to do on this side we'll see uh at least I planned a bit there Uh, I'm a bit embarrassed to do this on stream, to be honest. This is kind of like a new thing to do for me. I, I've done different things. Uh, I'm learning things, but to actually write, um, like, my, <laughs> like, YouTube video, what I'm going to say to do that on stream, that's kind of... But I was thinking maybe it's useful and maybe if someone don't know it and learns it and uh, can give me tips on the... Oh, I don't get that, you know? So I'm kind of... I kind of would really want to do start with the programming. But what I was thinking of really doing is testing idle because on my machine uh, I've had so many Python versions installed also, so I don't know what links work. I added some of them to my right-click, I think, on Python files. Um, yeah, so... I've messed about too much with this computer. It's about time to reinstall it too. It's quite a few years that I did that. Um, hi OBS, a streamer bot. You're all abandoned out there. <laughs> One more thing I think you died realize, you did. But I might have understood wrong, your Win 10 machine is saved on C, not on the other drive, like Win 11. Okay, so did I... Uh, my... the ISO is on C. Uh, for one of the machines, but is the actual machine on C2? Because you see this one has... Uh, here, let's see. This was has the ISO on C. Uh, but I don't think the machine is on C. And this has the ISO on F. But those are the OS ISO disks. Uh, let's just look at that directory. I think it's still open. Uh, yeah. You're right there. So, it, I did click this directory, but maybe when I redid it, I didn't. Well, then we have a quick fix again to do. We just close this and we move it, because uh, that drive is kind of full. But, uh, make sure you can see what I'm doing here. So, the C drive, you can see it's kind of full. <laughs> I don't want it all filled up because that kind of annoys Windows a bit too. Um, thank you very much. Because I have other VMs here, so this was the default it selected. Uh, and this I think was my hobby's <laughs> suggestion. And this is when I reinstalled Kali, I saved my home directory. Especially I want the command history. <laughs> things you kind of half know, you know? Um, so let's just move this one. I'm evilly control xing it and moving it to this one. And I really want to see this, so we know when it's finished. This is five minutes. Uh, so let's do something meanwhile. So thank you very much, Arduku. Is Arduku okay, or what? What's your, what do you want to be called, Arduku? Is that okay? Or how should I pronounce it? <laughs> You'll have to help me. Um, as you might know, I'm Swedish. 
Not a problem. So I don't, it is and okay. I don't even know if you would be like, if you would want it pronounced in like English or in some other way. Even only Duku is okay. Okay, so Duku, Duku. Uh, okay, thank you, and thank you for the tip again, because it's kind of nice not to fill up your C drive. <laughs> I guess I would have noticed later when I was downloading something big and I was like, why doesn't this fit? I had like 30 something before. <laughs> so now let me actually do the horribly revealing bit of <laughs> looking at my scripts for the, the tutorial. Um, so I'm like, go to the Google Python downloads you can you know you get these google results i did this to to i it's like in my head how i'm going to do it on the when i record the video uh and if you want to uninstall running python and let's doing starting with python from the command line then and then i think i have this bit with notepad and this is when I was unsure, certain that I, I googled for Notepad on Windows 11. And I wasn't even sure if it was there. So one thing we could do is just to install this and actually record it. Uh, or we could just try... We, we have the snapshots now. So we have this saved. Um, so we can just do it again and again if we need to, and maybe, but but I think this part is kind of probably not much to do with, but I want to check if Notepad is actually available, and since the one we're moving is the Windows 10 one, right? That's the Windows 10 one, uh, so we could start the 11 one. Um, you're on the wrong screen. Just me. Let me look if we have notepad installed as default now on a fresh install because it seemed to be like yeah different then of course someone could of course have it not installed i'm thinking still notepad it's it's like not having nano in in linux um you just expect it to be there Notepad is by default, but in 11 is the one with tabs. Yeah, but I, when I googled it said it wasn't installed by default and you had to go to to the store and like install it from there. But if it's installed by default, I'll just check on this one so, so that I know what it looks like too. I've never seen the notepad of Windows 11. <laughs> I mean, telling people how to do something without having ever seen it, that's like <laughs> not not nice, right? Oh, I think the audio was better too. Twice the amount of memory and I'm trying to click here. Maybe there. I had allowed a few updates. Uh, I just want to make sure too, but maybe even if it's installed, maybe it's not installed in home version, you know, it could be different things. Now I did the pro, pro version, but I, I don't think I've ever run another Windows. Um, so if we just type notepad like here, can we do that? Because this is something that people would see easily. Um, I will probably add more text to that part. I, w I started, I don't know where I heard that Notepad wasn't installed, but I googled it and it, it kind of confirmed that suspicion. So now we have one, and if we open Notepad again then, let's see, can I just open another like this? Yeah, then, it then looks we get like another it's one. one without tabs. Yeah, looks like a normal, normal one. Um, yeah, 
we have a bit rounded corners, a little other like Windows 11 layout things, but it looks very, very like the Windows 10 one. And I didn't get a tab when I opened another one, and I don't see anything about tabs. So, I guess that it's just like this then. Hmm. Okay. Um. So, the text I have here on uh, making a script with Notepad. Uh, I did a few tests here. We did Hello World, and we, first we tried, tried just making errors and seeing what the errors were. Um, and then when we got text out, do the Hello World. So if we just do Hello World in a file in Notepad, uh, but I'll have to tell, uh, I kind of try to make everything obvious, so that it's supposed to be, uh, it doesn't have formatting. Yeah, I was thinking, should I even open world, Word and show it doesn't work, but I was thinking that was, that's too much. That's too much. There has to be <laughs> some kind of stop of how... Also, you shouldn't like tell people don't do this, tell them do this instead, so they don't remember. Oh, this was in the video, the open word. I probably can do my coding word, right? Uh, if there was, if it wasn't for Outlook, I would have uninstalled Office already because I'm just using Google Docs for everything. But I think that some files I needed it to open though. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I will, of course, when I record, I will uh, probably change stuff a bit too. Uh, and when I when I type open Notepad here. I will show it at the same time. Uh, let's if we click the start menu on the machine, is it easy to find here? So if we do the same thing on, on um, we don't have any programs here like the normal one, and this is nothing that people will find. They won't scroll here. We have all apps. So, if we click here, do we have not, but we have it here. And this is the default view. We even have Spotify, it's default in Windows. Well, um, we have Notepad, which I, I, I thought it was very strange not have notepad really to be clear about that it sounds like how could you have an operating system without any way to type text from start isn't that the basic thing most basic thing to do in a computer is to write type of text basic text yeah so if I would open Notepad just quickly on my machine, can I even do it? <laughs> I never use my, you know, I have Notepad here <laughs> and I sometimes I type stuff. Um, but we do have Notepad this way. And this is one part of a good thing to have a uh, fresh machine. There's not a million programs to scroll in. Um, I would assume it's in accessories here, right? Mm. 
this is not how we find not but usually yeah it's here I'm just blind so we can find notepad this way, but to show someone how to use it. And this is just a quick parenthesis at the end of this video too. You can also do this next part, an idle and then VS code. Um, I'm also thinking, should I add information about environments? I think I had something about that in my code bit. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll be thinking a bit and typing a bit and kind of working, I guess. Though I should move a bit. <laughs> no one redeemed that movement thingy yet. <sighs> I should add some kind of thing to the stream that um, to move like every hour or every one and a half hour or something. I should do that. Um, yeah, it wasn't just, it was, I saw Captain Coder do stuff and I saw, and I think it was Andy Lippy who also had like, oh, um, training time, he did some stuff. Um, But I don't have much space. But I do also have a thread mill that I can fit on the desk, but that's kind of noisy. We'll see. I I'm planning, I've been planning from start to add that to the stream and to add like a redeem thing and to also uh, make controls. For stream to make you run faster or walk faster or whatever <laughs> with limitations of course um, um, okay so to actually start using the, the vms as i intended let's start the other one uh, it will ask me if I move this one too, of course. I think it would be done, right? Yeah, it's done. Uh, no, open. Did I, do? I didn't do open. So then we have the new volume, and I double clicked it. There, and virtual machines, Windows 10. We'll get a question. Depending on how slow it is. <laughs> no question? Is it when we start it? Yeah. I moved it. Move 3D support from the host nodding. I read it quickly there. Uh, so let's move this one to the end. I don't know, 10, 11 kind of feels like the right numbering, right? I'm also thinking my Kali machine, I have updated everything, I think, but would there be a difference from installing a new one? By the way, the login image is just horrible. It's horrible now. I had to change it. It I don't know what happened to their graphics feeling, but I didn't agree at least. Not that the other one was beautiful, but So 
So this one is falling asleep again. I'm trying to right click here. Click, click. I wonder what that is outside. It says outside. Hmm. It's supposed to be sunny today. And it's got Swedish. I don't want Swedish. Good afternoon. And then there's news in Swedish. And on Finland and stuff. I don't want news here. I let it be. Hmm. <sighs> I don't want it to start doing stuff I don't tell it to. I'm not told it to go to the internet and do stuff. Right? Uh, how many times have I right clicked now? Maybe I should just wait. I'm also curious. What does it say? ENGSV. Ah, I'm dying. I should be able to right click the background. Oh, there we can see Swedish, English, UK and US. Uh. You didn't, but don't forget, it is Windows after all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what I don't like with Windows. Though my Windows has... Uh, I have a, uh, I don't know how safe it is, but I have this thing that stops Edge from taking the place over. Oh, we got a right click menu. Look, we got a right click menu. Sorry, I wasn't even showing you what I was doing. There are commands and redeems to show the other screen. Just reminding, just reminding, this is right screen, that is left screen. So if I'm looking this way and you, you're you watching that one, you can change it. Um, so what was I going for? I totally forgot. Yeah, I was thinking of the... Uh, apparently it shuts the screen down after a bit. And on a virtual machine that's just kind of odd, right? It doesn't log me out even. It just blacks the screen. So I want to know what this is. Why does it? I don't want it to do it. Like screensaver, but... Advanced display information, maybe? Nah. Well, I guess this is good to look at this. But let's search. Screen double R's, so that's probably not good. Oh, I have better when I type. Oh, well, just because I was saying that characters appear when I type, I typed a space and it was slow. So if I do screensaver here, they will have to have uh, this. Oh my goodness. So now we got an old style settings window. <laughs> so it's not in their new ones. Well, we can use from, from Windows 10 to have this kind of thing. We have no. So it's power settings then. Of course, another window. Power options. Balance. No, I want to change. I want to see the details. No, thanks. Um, <clears throat> power saver, and this is balance, and there's no don't save power. This is a virtual machine computer. It's a virtual machine. We don't want you to do stuff. So let's save this. Yeah, I guess so. It went back. 
and then let's see what's advanced power settings. And now we have an even older image. Oh, even older style <laughs> settings window. Okay. Now we can set the hard drive and stuff. Well, this is a virtual one. I don't care. As long as you don't shut down the display for me. Never good. So. We'll have to do this on the other machine too. On the Windows 10 one. Uh, if it does this, we can just see it probably doesn't, right? Oh, we have a black screen. We had a black screen. Um, maybe since I wasn't logged in though. So. I had started on the other one to just type notepad. So that works, of course. And if you click start menu, I'm thinking what is the most easiest way for people to do this. This is not the most easiest way. Typing is easier, right? Going to Windows Accessories and clicking Notepad here. <coughs> I think typing is, is easier. Uh, and people will... This is why they do the Windows R on everything. Because it's easy to... You don't have to ask people do you have the search field? Do you have a search thingy icon? You could just... Because I always have that. says, I windows are everything. Hi Panda! Says, <laughs> yeah, I windows means you are need to everything. Both. Oh, why would I re-snapshot them? Um, they, they are saved like for... Um, do you mean, you mean the, <laughs> do you mean the background setting, right? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, I can do that. Let's look at the display settings here too. You're right. You're right, Arduku. I will follow your advice. So, because <laughs> we don't want the screens to turn off all the time. So let's let's go this way too, and here at least we have the settings. Because they will go to sleep. Yeah, they will go to sleep. Uh, so let's search for a screen saver. And uh, <coughs> let's try this option this time. Yeah, we got this one at once. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Oh well, and as we can see, these are exactly the same boxes as we had in Windows 11. So exactly the same thing. So they, these boxes were just hidden and we still get the old ones. And if we click advanced power settings, we'll get the, this is like when, now we're back to Windows 3.1 style like, right? <laughs> Now we're Windows 95 style. <laughs> it's all still in there. It's all still in there. <laughs> if they remake how the, it looks, why not do all of it? So the settings are not supposed to be visible. People are not supposed to be able to change their screensaver in, in Windows 10 and 11, apparently. But of course, we're supposed to save power and just shut our monitors off. Of course, that's, well, that's, that's not bad, you know. Think of Mother Nature. But this is a virtual machine, so okay, well, we're turning them off and I have decided that Windows R is the same on both and it's simpler and they may have hidden the search field. So that's that's the easiest way to put in the course. So turning this off now and the other one. Oh my, I, I look for the start button where it's not. 
I will continue doing that forever, as long as I run Windows 10 2 at least, I guess. We'll see. Um, is it quicker this time? Now it got 8 gigs of memory. We can actually see the animation at least. I think that's more VMware tools, right, than the memory. <sighs> Trying to move a bit when I'm still waiting for stuff. Uh, we can type this in the course. So. Uh, so, after open notepad, let's say, uh, to open notepad. Uh, click. Um, no. Hold the Windows button and click R. Um, should I say like type R? Click R on the keyboard. Uh, I have tutorial videos on YouTube and people ask the most crazy questions. I, I, I did right click on to start a program and I clicked run. Um, I don't remember what the option is, but I clicked something. But then I said with my voice that uh, if, if this da 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 do this instead. And I got so many questions about the thing, so next time I'll have to do both, because it's people don't really listen, and uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, I'm assuming people won't understand if I'm not very explicit, if it's newbie things. If it's the key, it is more like press the R key. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great, great. Thanks. That's the words. Press. Uh, the R key. So, um, I call this button Windows key to make it consistent and then then hold the Windows key and then press the R key. There. Hold the Windows key and then press the R key. Uh, where do now the graphical letters will not work as we need an editor uh, that only saves the characters in simple text format. And then we we have Notepad open now. So um, we did before did this at the Python prompt so we have gotten this far in python <laughs> here in what's not python course but actually installing python and finding your editor kind of thing uh, yeah setting up an editor i'm actually calling it that <laughs> okay let's see if i can see full name no come on obsidian do i have to rename it to see what i actually typed yeah setting up an editor uh, hello world in Notepad. Um, and now we can type. Uh, I'll probably change this five times later wh when I'm actually recording. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just to a hint, I will probably not exactly say what I type here either. It's just to have like. I'm going to say this thing. Uh, now we can type our Python code uh, in Notepad. Is that too obvious? We'll see later. Uh, and then I do it there. So don't want to say that. Maybe I should do like this when I actually do it. Um. <laughs> to run, oh, we have to save it first. Another selection. Do we control S this and teach them some basic 
short command use or do we actually well, uh, I, I I never use menus to save, but as this is intended for people that have never seen You could have left that in just as a comment. You also teach how to comment a line. Um, yeah, you could have left that in just as a comment. Yeah, yeah, but this is not the... This is just how you can edit files and how you can run run like the code and then the other part is like the tutorial but of course we could add a comment here too uh, but what did you mean we could add as a comment um now i think i'll i'll do this is just the most basic python we have to know to be able to run the editor that's that, i think i'll stop there and then i'll do uh, then I can talk about things at whatever length I need to explain things uh, in the other way. In the other part of the course, like this Python tutorial for beginners thingy. Uh, if it will be called that or noobs or whatever, we'll see. I'm thinking what will people Google? What will people search in YouTube for? Like Python tutorial probably, right? That's what I would Google if I want to do learn something. The thing in tutorial. Um uh, no, we can have a car. Do, do, do. Yeah. So right, I was going to You can see the screen, right? I was looking back into the other one again. Switching more than I'm showing you. So just curious, in interestingly, it did 64 gigs of hard drive for Windows 11 as default and 60 for uh, and for Panda or anyone else that was, wasn't was here then. Uh, we have doubled the default memory of the machines, virtual machines now because uh, they it seemed like they needed it. Uh, let's play this one now. We moved this too so. But I started it after that, right? Uh, I was going to make snapshots. <laughs> That's why I should it down, right? <laughs> I guess it's good to have a start before you take the snapshot with the new settings. So they definitely are running on the new settings. Nothing set to change when it restarts or anything like that. 3D features of this virtual machine will be disabled. Password. And let's. Uh, Windows R Notepad here. And we have we have stuff in this machine now that's happened. We have search things. We have Windows R. So if we Windows R again, we have a list here that's not MD, and this is the tools, and then we have Notepad, it doesn't matter much. Uh, mm -hmm. So what to save the file? We do file save. Maybe, maybe we do this file save as, and then I say you can also use Control S to save or something. You can also use control plus s to save. Um, what I'm thinking on now is here we do windows key and press R and then I do control plus S, but I'm thinking how much should I assume people are stupid, you know? Well, I, I don't explain this, that's just an extra comment. Uh, and then uh, this is... Uh, File, 
save as. Because I want to... It will also automatically do save as when we do save, since this is not saved. Uh, but I'm thinking save as can be more useful. useful. What do you think? Save? I think first time you save as, otherwise it will use name.py.txt, and then you can save only. I think it will use .txt whatever you do. So that's a good comment. Uh, so if we do... Uh, we did... I think it does exactly the same. You see, if I click save here, we get to save as box. Uh, wrong screen. So here, if I click save, we get save as box. Because it's not saved, it doesn't have a name. And if we do save as, we get exactly the same thing. So if I type something here, so let's say we do test, nice spelling of test, uh, dot pi, for example, and save this, and it's documents as default, I am not changing that now. So and then we go to this place, let's see if it actually saved it as what it looks like, and um, I don't trust this. Um, uh, I'll I'll just go and do something else. You see you see the icon as a default in Windows that you don't show the extension, and this is text file. If we change the name of this one, I'm trying. I clicked F two. I'm not at all stressed by this. Uh, it suggests that Py files are. Open by night. It says text document txt. This is very annoying. Will I have to set this machine to? I, I want it as default, you know. I don't want to set my options. I just want the full name of the file. If I click F2 now, nothing happens because this is in recent files. Why? Uh, I actually clicked here to click documents, so, so let's do that. Now, I don't trust that this is a full file name. If it is, that's good. This looks like this is a full file name, but it says it's a text document. Why would it connect pi to text document? Is that a default in Windows then? Now, let's make a new file here. If we make it new text file, will it show the text? You see, it's, it's the same icon, but that could be just because pi is associated with Notepad. Uh, the easiest way is, of course, to open a command prompt. Should we do that too before making a new snapshot? I'm kind of using the machine before this first start. Uh, so, so let's see the documents here. And we don't have Python, but but we can uh, we can dear <laughs> this. Yeah, there you can see it, even near the properties. But it's called te dot text. When we look in the command prompt, we can see the full name. And even when I right click that and do properties, the name is dot pi. This is a problem. And this is how I most expect people to have their computer set up. So it's almost so that I skip Notepad from the tutorial. But it's a great editor. So if you if you create this text file and I rename this to pi, I think now that I can see the full name and I do test2.py uh, and we think we have a pi file and then we go to the prompt and we list it and we see that it's actually a te text file, txt. Why did Windows start hiding the actual file name? Yours and says. The common text extensions are hidden. Are yeah, says? by default. Yeah, because Windows is hiding own extensions. Yes, but still, as you go into properties, I think you should see the full file name here. Um, and I always, always show all files and show extensions. That's like the first thing I do on a machine. And I don't want to do it on this one. Because I want people that are new to 
this to be able to do this. So I don't want them to have to rename the files in some other way. Or have to change their window settings, because they maybe like this way not to show the full actual names. Uh, and we're on Windows 10 too. And I expect Windows 11 would be even worse at this. Should I just remove Notepad from farm it and do idle? At, um, this was like a parenthesis at the end of the start. This is just using the Python stuff. And then it's idle, which is also the, the Python. It comes with Python, you know, so we don't need Notepad. But I was thinking it would be easy to do it. But maybe the whole Windows not showing the full name breaks it for people. Uh, and now I don't want to install Python yet. I want to save this before I install anything. Uh, I'll just go check on my kids. I heard some sounds. I'll be right back. There. He needed help with refilling the soap in the bathroom. <laughs> um, there. It was a very discreet double knock on the door. I wasn't even sure if it really was just sound or if it was for me. Um, yeah. So, uh, while I was away, I decided 
but I won't make new snapshots, but uh, I'll just keep going with these and I can do that later. You know, just get the snapshots that we made and add the, remove the screensaver or power down of the monitor. See, so I've not decided on this though. Is it too hard to rename the files for people? And is it even possible to save it? Yeah, yeah, I think I think I have a so the solution. Uh, so if I do a new... Let's open new pad, notepad fresh. Uh, okay, I'll type here. So we get a variation. Uh, if I type something here, whatever, just to have something in the file, and we save as, and we select all files here, and then we click uh, pi.py, uh, and I have the all files here instead of text. Will this make a difference? Let's save that, and let's list the files. And that worked. So we found the workaround. Uh, so we'll just have to say that this is important, an important step to do. Uh, and to make sure, uh, I have to test this in Windows 11 too. That it works. Uh, I didn't even see it typing before, it just was finished there. So, my god, all this work for this tiny little thing. <laughs> Why did I do it? Type password. I was... that's funny. I managed to actually search for password on the web. Well, just actually going for notepad. And I can't... can't I close this down? I want to close this. Close it. Oh. A little lag, the lag is probably because of this. Well, of course. Do I really have to this? How to do this? Is it? Uh, I said, please, no, can't you just stop this? There. So, uh, we type something, we go to File and Save, and we click All Files, the start.txt disappears, and we can type py.py to Documents, save it. Um, uh, I think you can do CMD still, right? And let's see the this. No, not desktop. Uh, nice to not have to put a space between CD and dot dot. <laughs> so CD, uh, what's it called? Document. There. And we do this. And then we can see we have a pi.py, not pi.py.text. So, yeah, I remember this <laughs> while fill, refilling the soap. Breaks are nice, right? Um, so we have the workaround. We can just tell this. We can actually add this. Okay, keep keep Notepad in the course. Because it's a nice, simple editor that's always there. You don't have to install anything. Not that we have to install Idle, but that's the next thing. Uh... Word and how did it do, do, do? File save as. Let's do save. Uh, file save <coughs> to save our. 
script file. Let's start calling it that so they can... Um, click save... Oh. I kind of just use the word that was there, because it was there, but it was for later. <laughs> Click File, Save. Uh, now, it's... Sorry for saying now all the time. I'm typing it, and then I'm, I'm trying to get rid of it later. It's hard with instructions not to add extra words like that. So let's just delete these and try to pause instead because it sounds very odd. There are I've seen videos where like every second word is so or like or then or you know one of these words that we really shouldn't have there. <laughs> um, it's important to. Uh, I'm just shaking here on the Windows 11 machine and you can switch if you want to. You can switch by exclamation right or the redeem. Uh, right Kali and Kali is just because it's a VM, right? I use them on the right screen. Uh, it should work. So someone please test. Um, so file, save, and then the field is... No, because I have to do save as now, because I already saved it. So, uh, it's important to save the file as... It's important to change the save as type field all files it's all files with a tiny f All files. Sorry this for this being extremely basic. It's important to change the save as type field to all files. Uh, or the editor will add a.txt with will add .txt to the file name uh, and the text I'm writing now I will also use as like the subtitles so it's not useless just to rumble this while you're recording uh, and I'm trying to make efficient I don't want these to be money minutes at all it's supposed to be quick and efficient and informative and I've actually had some positive Comments on that. Oh, it's important to change the save as type field all files or the editor. It's very important. It's very important to change the save as type field to all files before clicking. Uh, okay, so first. Uh, Mention and also, also that at the end of the file name, it is also necessarily to add it. Pi. Yeah. Yeah, right. And uh, I actually don't know how how much Python cares about the file names, but maybe TXC is fine too, but I think it's good to do it anyway, you know, to have dot .py. Uh, I was just going to type type of file name, and then it was a perfect time enough to comment. Uh, type a file name and I will do a type of file name while I say this so uh, uh, and add the extension 
dot pi. Uh, so that Windows knows what kind of file it is. I, I felt I made an error there. <laughs> One kind of. What kind of file? It is. And I put it in the wrong order. So, to save our script file, click File, Save. Type a file name, and it's called File Name. So, we don't have to save that. It's kind of obvious in the. You know, the where you're at. It's located there. And add the extension of pi so that Windows knows what kind of file it is. It's very important to change the save as type field to all files or the editor will add .txt to the file name. Uh, and the file type will be wrong. Uh, since I'm going to speak this, I split the lines a bit there. So... Well, then it's time to... <laughs> Did we open Notepad? No, we didn't say how to. We decided to Windows R this. Yeah, I do it here. So first we're going to open, then how. To open Notepad, hold the Windows key and press R. Now they have done that one, so we can do do it again a bit quicker. So uh, I'm I'm trying not to say now or let's. I'm trying to find a way to start a sentence without those. Um, they always creep in there. They really want to be in the game. Be said. Um, I just type anything. I can remove it later, right? <laughs> I just kind of lost track of what I was doing because I'm talking about the now and let's and stuff. <coughs> so let me type let's and then I can remove it later. <laughs> That's embarrassing, right? Uh, <laughs> let's click Windows R. I could keep some of them in. That's okay. Like. Let's click Windows plus R again, and this time type CMD to open the command prompt. Um, and I think I had some comment here about should I do PS2 partial. Uh, is there even a difference? And will they ever use it? You know, it, we will use it in uh, in VS Code then, but what is easier? Should we skip CMD? That's my like native tongue, <laughs> CMD. <laughs> uh, you can also use Control S to save. Oh, let's pop down far. File save. Um, or I'm trying to avoid press now because that sounds more like mouse, maybe? Mouse clicking? No, I don't think so. It's okay to use it. Uh, to save our script file, click File Save. Or, I'm thinking, or do Control S. That sounds odd. Or click Control S. Or, I think do is kind of odd, but still 
Uh, we'll do do that, and I'll probably change it later. Press. Uh, to save our script file, click save, click file, save, or press Ctrl S to save. Well, well, I'll change that later, probably anyway. Uh, type the file name as extension, whatever. <coughs> Let's click Windows R again. This time, type, and now I say click there. So let's do click up here too, because that's what's natural, I think. Click on less. We click the keys. We don't press them. That's a longer thing, right? Whatever. Uh, and this time, type cmd into the command prompt. Um. Right, I don't remember because this was a few, not months, maybe a month since I did the top part here. What did I do? Did I do? I'll almost have to test this to see if it's added to the path automatically. I'm not sure because I've had Python installed for a bit so. But I'm quite sure I have added it manually, and if we need to do that, we need to do that. So, but I'll notice when I when I do this. Maybe we should just do it now, and we can reset to that point afterwards, and then we can also <laughs> save a new snapshot with no screen saver. Um, they will be in their home directory, the user directory, so they need to type cd because um, the default is to save it in documents, so we will let it be documents to avoid confusion and people usually take backup of that too, I guess. Uh, unless you never use it. <laughs> Oops. I'm pressing control with this part of my hand. Uh, and sometimes I seem to miss it. Um. Um, and then we have this part. I think I may have done this already, right? from the command list. First we open the command prompt and here I have no instructions for it because this is the first version. <laughs> if we only type Python, yeah so so there needs to be the instruction here too how to do it and let's put this. Soundworks says you press control with your pinky base knuckle uh, uh, I, I was typing on like the numbers and then I pressed control here while doing the arrows to, to jump, skip words like this. There I use, yeah, this. <laughs> Is that odd? <laughs> Interesting. I, I didn't think about it. I just noticed because I missed it, you know. Uh, control has always been a pinky tip key for me. Pinky tip key. Oh, I get, I get pain if my pinkies if I. But it's hard, kind of hard to press shift with that, you know? It's kind of. not very high precision. <laughs> on the middle of your hand, just clunking down on all the keys. So, welcome in, Sandrax. How's your day? Hope you're feeling better that your cold is better and everything. So. 
Uh, CD documents. And then we're actually going to type. Uh, but here I'm thinking about the path. We need to make sure that the path is in there, but it needs to be in there already before we run it. So... Still got some head and respiratory stuff going on, but the rest of body feels much better. Oh, great. That's that's nice. When you just have like a bit of a cough and stuff left and you feel you have energy again. That's, that's kind of nice. So you, you can hear me. I'm like... <coughs> <laughs> but I don't know anymore even if it's my cold still there or if I, it's allergy stuff, so... Uh, but I feel I have lots of energy now. It's nice. So I hope you're even better tomorrow. Or even today. <laughs> uh, what time is it there? So... I know the tower p hours pass by quickly. It's already 4 hours and 20 minutes stream. Uh, maybe I should have some of these stream, stream duration notifications actually be audible. And I noticed I made an error. Uh, let's let's fix that quickly. What I did is when I put the string together to make the notifications stream duration here, um, I added this as a separate thing which is only supposed to be added when I'm remote. Uh, when I'm not remote. Not. It's, it's an exclamation mark here. So if it's remote, with a variable that's set when I'm remote streaming, is on, I don't want this comment. So I want this comment now, but I can see we have double ones in the chat. And that's because I forgot to remove it there. So... We should have one of these now, and we should have known of them when I'm IRLing. So there. And I don't, I can't click on the last there. <laughs> Streamer bot, quirky editor. Just making sure I didn't do anything else. Kind of crazy, but I think the numbers are correct. Yeah, I, I, I did debug them all too. Or like just test run them with set variables for these and it worked so there let's get rid of that one um so next time we get a we get a message here on stream stream duration my god i can't talk anymore uh we shouldn't get two dashes at the start we should get just one dash <laughs> and the tts should not say anything Maybe I should have like a counter that every four times, because it's it happens. Um, the message goes out every fifty minutes. There is a timer in Streamer Bots which does it every fifty minutes. Uh, that maybe with four of these, that's an hour. I should actually hear that I've been streaming for another hour. You know, but um, maybe I should do do it on full hours. Maybe sh maybe just an F if it's four hours and zero minutes, or like a whole hour if it's zero minutes. Then I should do an audible one. Oh, let's instead of just like making a note of that and doing it later. It's very simple to do this at once. So here. Uh, we should also not add this. Uh, so if it's not, if it's remote or if it's no, minutes zero. No, that won't work because that would only work. No, I, I'm undoing that because we'll have to have a counter and that's too much to do now. Um, The whole reason that is, is because as you can see, it's 21 minutes, 4 hours, 21 minutes, so it will never be even, it will never be zero. No, I don't want to stop it. Um, okay, let, let's do control save anyway. I didn't change anything, I think, but... Um, <coughs> if I had happened to edit some character, I could just have cancelled. 
Um, I'm talking way too much to have a bit of a sore throat still. <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah. Uh, so in the installation of Python, I'm not certain, but we need to check. Let's, okay, run character. So in here, let's do uh, shake if, oh, right. It does it automatically as a header. This is kind of funny functionality. Even if I have line under it, maybe I don't want it to be big. Oh, whatever. Uh, check if, Maybe I can avoid that by doing Yeah, it worked, but there's still a long space there. Uh check if a uh, env var is set and this is not for the that's instruction for me to remember to check that. Because if it's not set, I will have to do it in this. Um, and I think it will, they will manage if we have to. But I think, I, I hope it's set. I don't think it was when I installed Python the first time though. Um, so now I'm editing in three places at once. It might be a bit much. Here. And this does not fit. We need to change it. Uh, and I'm actually going to assume that people can control click. Control C, Control S, that they understand this. If they don't, they can Google it. Because I think that's, if you're learning programming, you should know that much. So with the Windows key, it's it's a bit special because you can't say like just Control R, Windows R. Maybe that's that's a bit more. Hold down Windows key and then press the R key. Here I just do Windows R though. Oh my, I didn't even type to. <laughs> this is too many places at once, right? I forgot to type. Uh, then type notepad. So. <clears throat> Uh, I think I'm kind of safe here. I did add redeem to actually move my body a bit, but no one has redeemed it. Am I safe then? Should I redeem it myself? Someone said, yeah, Johannes said, you know how many points I have. Who else said that? <laughs> I don't remember. I think it was Johannes. Oh. So let's make... What? Yeah, I thought so. That was not now. Now I did a pinky because I was using Control Y like that. So. <clears throat> So here's the Windows R. And what did I have in my copy? Yeah, that part. Uh, hold on, Windows, and press Windows R key. Uh, I don't want to repeat myself either. And I'm going to avoid let's. 
uh, hold the windows key and then it's subplus there and and press R that's maybe a good alternative hold the windows key and press R uh, and then you can see on the video what happens uh, uh, type we don't need an and there type cmd to open the command front I think that I like this one better so we have it in two places with different versions here uh, I don't mind repeating that part and that's exactly this so we can delete this hold the windows key and press R then we avoid also the do thing that I was what would I say before control s should I click it should I press it should I do it um, I'm just thinking loud people so <laughs> you can mute me <laughs> or tell me to be quiet while I'm working uh, to open notepad hold the windows key and then press the R key um, Yeah, and this is different because here they could open something else if they already have some editor they like, you know. And then we give instructions for our default alternative. And then type notepad. It's okay with then there. It's just two words more. Okay. Uh, I do have, since I've been reading, when I do this, I read it a lot. And I want to hear it, not just read it, you know. So then I have the TTS option here in Obsidian. So Obsidian can actually read things, both what I select with my mouse and, or with the keys, of course, uh, or what, uh, all of it. So why is this card thing here? All oh, right, I remember that's for YouTube cards. Okay. Um, maybe I want to read it myself anyway. I'm trying to see my voice. <laughs> it's not easy. Hi, and welcome to the tutorial. This is the first part in my series on installing Python, setting up editors and getting started using them. I also have a Python tutorial for beginners and a quick intro to Python for programmer series. I'll put the links in the description. And then we have the cards. Uh, today we're going to install Python. And then we have the points here on the right side of my screen. And we'll have installing Python, uninstalling Python, running Python from the command line, and making a Python script with a notepad. And we're just Googling. Uh, let's Google Python, go straight to the downloads page and download the latest version of, for Windows. Let's just start the installation program straight from here. Uh, you know what Python installed and there's where I need to check if we need to add a bit about adding environment variables for it or if it does it manually or automatically. Uh, then we uninstalling Python, that's quite simple. And that's also a tip that if you can, if you have several versions, you can do that. I tend to have the old versions and then I get conflicts in my VS code. So it's easy to just to uninstall the old one. Maybe, uh, well, if I don't think I've installed it recently, so. But I had a funny error the other day. Um, let's make a quick test by running Python from the command line. First we open the command prompt, hold the Windows key, press R, uh, type cmd to open the command prompt. Maybe that's too repetitive. 
to let's repeat what we did before to open command prompt hold yeah that's better not as much reducing uh, oh well to open to open command prompt hold the windows key and press r type cmd to open the command prompt if we type only python here i want a here there we enter the python prompt here we can write python commands we can also see the version of python we started and get info on how to get good get info on how to get more help let's kind of worse that's not good uh we started and get info on how to get more help oh well well it's more later here uh let's try some math that went fine do 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 we get an error message this is a great way uh, to get information on what we can do let's try another character for multiplication now we gotta write let's guess, uh, let's do the tts and save my voice a bit here uh, there let's guess what could give us text output maybe <sighs> print we Let's read this error message and follow its instructions. Loud, we need people. parenthesis. I think print, this is too qui. loud. Oh, qui is not defined. Oh, uh, that was too loud in my ears. Was that horribly loud? I think that my volume, yeah, I, I usually have it as 50 when I do this, so, so that I kind of know. I'm going to use the same thing. Maybe I can set the One, settings. Installing plus. Python. Oh no. Check if ENV bar is set. Uninstalling Python. If I click here, will it start it automatically? I guess so. Can I set the volume of this? Right, I remember one thing. I think I set my OPS mic lower. No, it's it's good. It's good. Uh, so <clears throat> community plugins TTS settings volume and this is at maximum. So if I just lower this to fifty percent, we'll see. Just trying to get it to fifty. Not that it matters much. I guess 49 is just fine too. I think it's at 52. That's probably okay. I couldn't get it to 50. So let's try this now. Um, what part was I going to read? This, I think. This is better now. Let's guess what could give us text output. Maybe. Print qui. Let's read this error message and follow its instructions. We need parenthesis. Print qui. Oh, qui is not defined. It thinks we mean a variable named Qui. I might change that. Let's add quotation characters to show it's a text string. Print Qui. Cool, this worked. Now, let's do the classic hello world. Print hello world. Um, I'm going to type something about variables there. You will learn about variables in carryables. <laughs> I see someone carrying about around the variables there. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I guess uh, 4.38 stream time makes me laugh more. <laughs> Um, you will learn about variables in the um, Python tutorial. For beginners, there. Let's add quotation characters to show its string. 
cool this worked. Now let's do the classical world. Let's test uh, that help command. Arduku says, <coughs> is it multiple lessons? Because so I would propose to make a folder in documents, like Python lessons, so it will be more organized. Sorry for not saying it earlier when you were writing about CD documents. Uh, right now, this part of it is not about actually making files. It's more like installing Python. Yeah, but it will be, it will be like three different courses. You could say that one is simply this. This part is installing Python and setting up an editor, and then it's using uh, or Python tutorial for beginners, and then a quick intro to Python for programmers. Uh, so you don't have to sit listen there too. And then you type print and you click enter. If you know program, you know, you just want to know how to, to do text, you do this, to do that. To do, this is how a loop syntax looked like. Do, do, do this version, do, do, do. you know, you want a quick version. Um, so this installation bit, we, I don't, I'm not going to explain things like your, I think it was your suggestion. Uh, to add a comment, maybe it was someone else. I'm sorry in that case. Uh, was a bit ago. So, um, I'm going to tell it, it, it was, was you. Me. Great, great, thanks. Um, so I'm going to explain things like that in in the actual tutorial course, and this is just in case you can't manage to get something. Just you know, some people. If I do a tutorial in a programming language, I hate that it starts with now you're going to let's install an editor and then it's like two hours on getting an editor running that I already have installed. Um, and that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Even if you want a more like detailed thing, maybe you don't want that. So that's why I put that outside of the actual tutorial. So the tutorial will start with telling if you need help installing, you can do this, you know. Uh, here is the course for that. And the programming bits will be explained there and not in the installation help. So that's that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, and they will be like linked to each other. So if you're a programmer and you for get Ram to says, end up in the... Hi. Hi, for Ram. Welcome. I hope I pronounced your name okay. Uh, Aram, I guess. Is it Aram? Um, yeah. So that's why I split the, split the course, you can say, like that. Because I don't want to have it be annoying for anyone. <laughs> Kinda. Kinda? Well, tell me what to... Well, how should I pronounce it? T tell me what you want me to say. I'll try to remember it. I can't promise. Um, I'll try. Kinda doesn't sound like a yes. It sounds like I'd rather have something else, right? Um, uh, and I also notice lots of people pronounce uh, different names differently. Well, that's kind of... <laughs> Oh yes, but the same name differently too. <laughs> and my throat is starting to... <coughs> I'm eating some throat pill soup. Hopefully. Aram. Translated from Vietnamese. Um, Aram? Aram? A... Well, I'm trying. Aram? Is that good? Aram? Waiting for the reply. Well, we'll see. Um, Yo, what are <laughs> we doing today? Yeah, we're... Uh, we're making a script for a YouTube Python tutorial, so it's a it's a course, uh, and we have been installing virtual machines, 
for Windows 10 and Windows 11 to test things on. Uh, and I managed to get Notepad to save it as actually just the name I type here by doing all files. I remember that while taking a break, actually. Um, so I'm going to do a detailed explanation for people that has never programmed before. I'm, plus, I'm going to do a quicker one for people that just want to know the the like getting started with Python, but I know programming. That kind of thing. So this is the basic one and I'm trying to not assume knowledge, pre-knowledge. <clears throat> but I did kind of assume that people know what control and uh, plus a letter is. Uh, and this will be red, of course, so... But it will also be subtitles, this thing. Um, and since my throat is kind of... Uh, going <laughs> again i may do read read it with the help of tts uh, to because i want to hear it aloud you know how it will sound when it's actually read so uh, let's do this bit let's test that help command it told us about help ah uh, the parent thesis help um, and this will be kind of more obvious when I actually do the things at the same time, which I did when I wrote this, of course. Um, right, the help command is kind of advanced. Let's see if this is too long about this. We can ask for more information on different topics. We could do that now, but this is not the way I get information about commands in Python. I Google if there's something I don't know how to do and I will teach you the basics of the language in my Python tutorial for beginners. Well, there's another mention of the course, so... Uh, I tried not to do that too much because I already have it. Um, well, let's make a Python script file. Uh, but first we need to exit and then I teach them by failing to exit. Um, Um, here is apparently something I have started typing, but just stopped in the middle of everything. We need to tap exit or press Control C. Uh, let's skip this and plus. Ah, uh, uh, well, let's leave it then, since that's what I do say there keys at the same time. So let's make and then this was actually yeah so it was probably connected like this and this will be a bit long to uh, a python script with notepad is one of the headers. <laughs> okay, go right. Left, maybe. Did I forget? Did I leave it on the right screen? Ardugu says. Yeah, left. left because left. we see the VM smile. So, so try, try the left. We'll see if it works. That's a good test. Uh, I I added one before that was um, uh, that was <laughs> you're on the wrong screen and then I had it set to use the TTS. Yes, it worked. Yeah, yeah, great. Uh, I had it set to work with the streamer bots TTS, and I didn't have it on, so people used it and I didn't hear anything. <laughs> so I think this is better. There are also commands right and left. Um, but um, yeah, of course, the right and left will be, since this camera, I think I have it f mirrored, you know, so I can see the mirror image, because it's kind of odd to see yourself as it actually is. And, you know, meeting apps and everything does it automatically, because it's kind of odd <laughs> to look at yourself that way. 
so I guess this is this is right for me. This is right and this is left. Uh, but I think that I did also Kali and I'm thinking I should change that to VM so that if I'm running any kind of VM uh, let's let's fix that at once. Um, the great that you used to the redeem there. Great. Uh, and I didn't make them expensive, so it shouldn't be. <laughs> uh, actually, I think I will use the numbers just for sorting, because I think the the most cheap ones appear first. Uh, so where was I going? <laughs> Talking about so many things, I forget. Um, where is it? It's um, is it integrations? No, stream apps, platforms. There it is. So here we have the old ones. To remind me if I'm muted, but I did add a big, and it goes on if the mic, mic is muted and not on. Um, wherever I pressed so it should be safe I should be able to see that hopefully and you can always TTS type me anything you know so let's just delete this we don't uh, delete from twitch yeah there and the wrong scene one uh, we can delete we can delete one that one too but this uh, oh no uh, so it's not actually no, it's just it's just like this. So this one, let's do VM instead. Do you think that's obvious? If I do, should I do VM Kali? Is that too long? Or should I skip the right screen bit? Because that's not obvious for anyone but me. Or should I? Like that, <laughs> the eye of the collie being behind the screen. Uh, well, it, you tell me which is the best, cause you're the one that clicked it, and you know exactly how it looked, and if it was any kind of obvious or not. But I realized that right is left, and left is right, so they're not very obvious. Uh, and I have not my voice commands active, then I would be saying right screen and left screen all the time and then you would know anyways. Maybe I should do that stream soon. Get my node red fixed. <laughs> now it looks like, go to right screen slash Kali. Yeah, that, that's it. Look, what it looks like. I have to click OK here, I guess. Um, look now. Oh, does it say go to? Okay. So then it's the first text. I thought this was like my name of it, the title, and this was the actual text information. Ah, so, so this should be the one I changed then. I was just about to do that anyway, but I thought I was doing it for me. <laughs> How about now? And sometimes I have my notes on my right screen and do something on my left screen too. So this is not perfect. So left and right is kind of the best still. This is my right and my left. Oh, um, we can change this a million times until it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. VM slash Kali slash right. What do you think? Is that better? Will everybody know what VM Kali is? <laughs> Maybe if they select those. 
So, um, so this let's make is actually correct because it's the sentence is continued with the header. So let's make a Python script with Notepad. Open Notepad or another text editor. I'm my throat is hurting, so I'm going to let's see. Can, will this do all of it? Open Notepad or another text editor that doesn't say <coughs> format. To open Notepad, hold the Windows key and then press the R key. Then type Notepad. Word and other graphical editors will not work as we need an editor that only saves the characters in a simple text file format. We can type our Python code in Notepad. Print, hello world. That was kind of okay. To save our script file, click file, save, or click control plus S to save. Type a file name and add the extension .py so that Windows knows what kind of file it is. It's very important to change the save as type field to all files. Or the editor will add .text to the file name and the file type file type will be wrong. Hold the Windows key and press R. File type, type file to type. Open the command prompt. Type CD documents. Okay. Um, the TTS updates actually find an error here. Because, you know, when you read sometimes, it's, when I read it myself, I would have heard it too, but I'm saving my It's very important it. to change the save as type field to all files. Or the editor will add dot text to the file name and the file type will be wrong. Hold the Windows key and press R. Type CMD to open the command prompt. Yeah, and then we have type CD documents, type, uh, should we do a dear here? They may have a million files here. So let's not, let's just do Python. And the name of the file <coughs> you saved. I don't assume them to be total idiots. But should I mention they can do dare? No, they can look at their notepad to see what the file name is, right? I'm skipping partial hair. This is enough. Um, so <clears throat> well, that's all for all with three all else. That's really all. That's all for this tutorial. And the next part uh, will uh, look at more advanced editor. Um, in the next part, we'll look at more advanced. Okay, and I add advanced, advanced editors. Uh, did I type anything smart at some end of something other, some other tutorial thingy? Uh, yeah, and here I have like kind of this thing. So, uh, where did it go? There, there. The first one, idle, um, uh, you installed with Python. Uh, 
do we even type this? This is too much. No, I don't want this. I don't want to have too much repetition, but I want to point to the next video. Uh, so it's balance act. So this one is kind of finished. And the first one here, introduction and the Python also is kind of finished, I think. And this is very short. Now maybe this isn't finished. Maybe, yeah, I think I, we'll see, we'll see. Um, anyway, let's do idle. And then we first need to install Python. So let's simply follow this instruction while doing it on the VMs. Um, and then we will see if there are any errors. And I'm thinking I'll do it on, on the... Uh, and now I can type myself, if I do exclamation right now, uh, then we switch to the right screen. So, and we can do left too, exclamation left. Uh, and I'm going to add a command for this, um, to get information about the commands. And I was thinking of CMD, but maybe that's not... Then I could do like at the title do exclamation cmd. It's not very long at least. What do you think? Is that so if I would type like exclamation cmd, nothing will happen now of course. Uh, but then you could list all the commands that you have access for. So I'm thinking that for me, it would list also the ones to stop and start stream and things like that that I have. And the switch scenes uh, between other scenes and these, because these are, you can change. Um, by the way, when you have a remote stream, you can switch to these two, and that wouldn't be very good. Though I could switch back, but I wouldn't notice. <laughs> Uh, though, if you switch to my right screen, you will see my OBS. And if you switch to my left screen, you would see the actual stream still. So it wouldn't matter much, but still. It would be like a repetitive thing there. No, no, it would freeze. Since the stream would record itself streaming, it would totally freeze with the left screen. But it's not useful for anyone wanting to make serious trouble, I mean, that's that's a thing. But I probably should disable them uh, for a remote stream. That's the thought. Uh, so let's add that actually to my to-do list. Um, Uh, and I always seem to add stuff at the top, and then I do that, and then I... Uh, so... Uh, add cmd uh, to list all available commands uh, for you. Uh, disable commands uh for desktop stream when IRL there. So that's enough for me to remember the thoughts so I can do it later. The windows we we read this and remembered so 
But this one's not supposed to be in images. That's why I didn't find it at once. Well... Uh, I think it's time for me to check in on the kids again. Um, let's actually go to the left screen and go to my notes. What I'm currently going to do. And then I'm going for a quick shake on the kids. And I'll do that so you can see I'm not here.
Fixerbot says. New follower Twitch. New follower Matensis. Less than 3. I'm back. There. Uh, let me actually remember to switch screens too. So, welcome! I was listening. I had my ear in there. Uh, so, welcome, Metensis. Welcome in. Uh, we're actually, <coughs> uh, we're making a Python tutorial and we're going to, uh, to actually have IOL available on a machine that doesn't have a million things installed. We started today with installing, uh, virtual machines for both Windows 10 and uh, Windows 11. So let's... Okay. Now, there. Um, so let's see the Windows... This is the Windows 11 one. And this is the Windows 10 one. I'll close that one. Uh, we can delete these. There's nothing in them. 
<clears throat> why do I why do I type accident like one from one? Why don't I just you know <laughs> cross it out? Uh, habits, I guess. Um, yeah. So we're actually going to follow along with my script for the first that we just finished. Uh, for the first one. So we start with installation now and then we double check if environment variables are set. Otherwise we'll have to do that manually uh, because you want Python to be available. I would kind of assume it does it, but I don't think it did when I installed it when I did that. Um, uh, I got, I made, actually, in the time, I made a calzone pizza for my 30 year old and I heated up um, spaghetti and meat sauce for my, <laughs> uh, for my 16 year old. So it's all about being efficient, right? But how could they be hungry now? It's just 15.45 here and they ate lunch with only pancakes a bit ago. But anyway. Well, I better make sure they have stuff to eat because both of them are <laughs> much taller than me already. Um, kind of sounded loud there, but I think the door is closed. Uh, I'm actually feeling a bit like maybe... Uh, I would like to finish this, but I'm also starting to feel like I want to explore the computer parts and build some computer with stuff I've got lying around here too but I had planned that for a special stream though but maybe start something we'll see um I should probably focus and work on this but since I've been going for five hours and 19 minutes I think um switching a bit might be good too we'll see We'll see if we... Um, I really want to be finished with this too. Um, this part is what I feel is the hardest. Though to teach programming to a total noob um, is something that <clears throat> I will rewrite that script a few times. <laughs> um, I want this to be like... It doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be better than the once I've seen. Um, and I feel like most programming tutorials are quite extremely bad. Uh, some are quite good and uh, I think I I saw one that was actually yeah not just quite good but good. <laughs> good plus plus. <laughs> so but still I feel that there is not uh, like a very good one and uh, that's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming to be able to teach someone programming uh, who hasn't done it and it's done in a YouTube video so you can't just, though of course there's comments and stuff, so you can just ask that way. Anyway, let's, uh, maybe I will TTS this bit while we look at the uh, computer and <laughs> I will have to use Edge because I'm trying, I'm trying very hard not to use my stuff that I usually use, but to try and, because this would, this should work for everybody thing, you know? So if you have Windows, which I assume in this course uh, then you will have edge <laughs> so maybe not use it but you will have it uh, so uh, I'll I guess I will select this bit it's not more than this for the installed Python bit and then we will we will just do this and um, so we'll listen if it's okay and while we're listening I will follow the instructions too. So Hi and not welcome long. to this tutorial. This is the first part in my series on installing Python, setting up editors and getting started using them. 
I also have a Python tutorial for beginners and a quick intro to Python for programmers series. I'll put the links in the description. Cards. Today, we're going to install Python. Installing Python. Let's Google Python. And go straight to the downloads page. And download the latest version for Windows. Let's just start the installation program straight from here. You now have Python installed. That's a quick instruction. Uh, but it's not intended to be that quick because I'm intended to show it at the same time. Um, I feel like my hair is going dirtier by the second. It's usually either it's just standing straight out, flying away, uh, or it feels like it's getting stuck together and like dirty ish. So, <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, and I was in a meeting this morning. And then it, after that, I didn't have a cap on or anything, but still, uh, it's like it's odd. Well, whatever. Um, electric, a bit electric. Um, so, uh, let's at least assume Google, because I will actually see Google. Python, then we Google. Uh, hello, Bing, and bye. Because we want Google. Um, we. I did set English as the language. I have English, I have Swedish keyboard, and I have Swedish um, time settings, locale. And then this gives me Swedish Google. Why? I didn't ask for Swedish, anything in Swedish. I just wanted... I want English. So why do I get this? Uh, and let's see if we just click Alt here. Don't we get menus even in Alt on this one? So how are you supposed to get menus? How do you get menus in edge well uh, I won't care really they're dropping their own rules I guess so uh, to follow the instructions and now I get lots of Swedish stuff here too I do not I'm not interested in hockey I don't want to why is it all hockey? <sighs> and this is not what I want to Google. And I do not like him. <laughs> um, um, let's see now. I don't want news when I Google either. I want Python. We want Python. There. Uh, I shouldn't say I don't like anybody, but... I think that most people would agree with me. I, I don't want to have political opinions on stream, you know. Um, I don't think that one is very odd though. So let's listen to the instruction for installing Python. Let's Google Python and go straight to the downloads page. Go straight and to download the downloads. The latest version for Windows. Let's just start the installation program straight from here. You now have Python it's installed. Slow. I did click. Probably I need to click once to get into the machine and then I click once more. So uh, download the latest version for Windows and I will do this as, as I read this text or say this. And download the latest version for Windows. And then we click here. Um, yeah, and I imagine what I did is here, and then we just, let's just start the installation program straight from here. And I did check that it works in, uh, I think most browsers have this actually pop up, so you can just click it. Did click it. Do I have to click open file? Trying here once more. Want it to be as easy as possible. No, nothing. Is it just slow? I don't know. This is not a quick box. 
this VM. But yeah, yeah, look, it's sinking. Something is probably happening. I don't want to click more times. It was just slow. We'll see if we get two of these now. Um, so... Um, here I'm going actually to add some stuff to the instruction. So... Um, Look, here we have the Python path, and this is why it's so good to actually do the things you make the instructions for, so you don't just... Uh, I'm trying to avoid saying let's all the time, so let's just type. Uh, and I'm doing this on my other monitor. I could switch all the time, but maybe that's more annoying. So, shake. Shuck. Check the option to add a python dot exe to path. Um, should we explain this? Uh, as this will make yeah that's the point too I want to make I want to explain why I do things not just tell people how to do it but to say why they need to do it too so we really want to explain this um So add python exit to path as this will make uh, python available. How did I spell that? Uh, uh, python available. I'm thinking what level should I go in all your computer? Uh, everywhere in your computer. Uh, let's let's go with everywhere and then I can change it later if I want to if it sounds bad when I record it uh, available everywhere in your computer so let's is that actually do you spell that as two words I don't trust this really did I do some else, some something else? Um, no, this is odd. Uh, I'll look at that later, uh, or someone who's native tell me what I did wrong. Uh, check the options to add Python to Path, as this will make Python available everywhere in your computer. Um, Then click install now. And now I'm going to switch to the right screen again. So let's do this. We check this and we click install now. That's my kid's pizza that's finished. I think he can check it himself. He's probably wanted more done than he does now. Uh, he's 13 and a half. <laughs> So he can take it out of his of the oven himself. Um, yeah. Oh, right. What screen are we watching? This one. I fe I, I watched just a number of viewers, and they realized it dropped to half when I was away for a bit, so I'm sorry for that. 
<laughs> but I guess the people who are still here would, don't, didn't really mind, maybe? Uh, what should I do? Should I start a video when I, if I have to leave to make some food for the kids? Should I give an estimate of how long it will take? What would be helpful? Or what would be... Um, should I have music on? But music is not the best thing to do, you know? You have to think about... Well, people, first of all, people have different tastes in music. So that's the first thing. Uh, so, we have this. The setup was successful. Uh, start with the online tutorial and documentation. Maybe I should mention these links that actually are in here. Uh, at the terminal, type pi to launch Python. Okay. So just pi. Maybe we should have a pi, pi dot pi. There would be a lot of pi. Uh, or sorry for Python in your stock menu. And uh, this is kind of interesting. Well, let's if we click online tutorial, we have to test this. Uh, we get the Python tutorial, and we have the version number there. That's current, and we have lots of information. And if we click the documentation, we have current documentation. So there is also a development version, of course. Um, people can read this themselves. Will they read this themselves? Then it says that here. Um, Okay. <laughs> well, this seems like something I don't want to tell people to do since it's not the default. But they suggest it from Python apparently. So let's close this and in the tutorial mm. Oh, we're getting close here. Uh, but I think this, you now have Python installed, is what I, I, what I said there instead on the close screen, because that's kind of what he said. Uh, and we can remove this bit. Environment variables should be set. But let's double check just to make sure. Um, so. Um, which is the quickest way? Is it clicking here? Is it typing? Not display settings. I think it's typing. What if we do just type nvar? Environment variables for just n. There we got them, and it added Python here to the to the user path. And that's good. Though uh, I can't assume administrative privileges, so guess that's good. We can also see the path, I guess. Oh, did it too? Oh, do I actually have to edit them to see what they are? Update a local. Can I F2 that? No, I have to click edit. Python launcher. Um, let's... Uh, I'm thinking of the next thing, which is idle. The next part is idle. That's why we need this installed. Um, and... Oh, why? Oh, 
sorry. Mm, so if we windows R then, and we do paste this path, and we go there, we get this. So this is the pie it was talking about. Launcher. Uh, I'm curious to know how new that is. And then let's. We have three actually Python ones. I didn't look. Oh, this is scripts. So if we do Windows R and open this path. Me0w1ckk says, Hello, what are we doing today? Hello, welcome in. Uh, today we are making a Python tutorial and we're checking stuff up to make sure that we know what we're doing <laughs> and that it works. And we have all the parts of the instruction that we need for people to get this running. Uh, and uh, the first part here, we just installed Python and... Oh, I, I'm... My kid's calling. One second, this will be quick. So, <laughs> my 13 year old just needed some help. Um, so, we're just making an instruction here. And we just followed this bit, but we added check the add python path. Uh, oh gosh, I did spell that wrong. Uh, <laughs> so Python available everywhere in your computer. Click install now. Uh, let's make this because I will be putting this also in the subtitles of the YouTube video that I'm going to make from this. Nice, um, so we're eating Python or Python 3. Yeah, Python is kind of Python 3. You know, there's always old versions. Uh, but if we look at uh, my right screen here again, uh, when we made the installation, we got links to the documentation. Uh, and here's where we downloaded the latest version. You can see it's 3.12. So it's kind of long since, let's see in the dates here. You can see 3.8, first release 2019. So if we're going to 2, what date will we have then? <laughs> Let's scroll and scroll and scroll. No, am I scrolling the wrong direction even? Uh, version 2 was long ago. Here we have it. Let's see, when did 3.0? Is this from 2012? So Python 2 is ancient. It's 12 years old. Um, or at least almost 12 years old. <laughs> uh, so, no, look. This is April 3 to 3 was before. Well, I guess this is... There are even older... This was kind of odd. Oh, I didn't... I thought red 3 0. 
Okay, we have to scroll even further back. So Python 3.1.3 is 2010. And here we have 3.1.2. Do we have 3.0? We're closing up to it here. Is there a 3.0.0? Oh, 2008. So we have 16 years or 15 if we're kind, since Python 2 was actually the primary version. So it's kind of old. So Python is Python 3. Uh, that's how I see it at least. Uh, there were kind of a lot of syntax changes, as you might have heard. So Python 3 is... Um, well, it's, it's kind of the thing. If you have real old stuff that are 15 years old uh, or someone hasn't changed anything since then, then you have these... When you install Python from this, you get these two links at the lost installation page. Um, yeah, and then you have lots of information until my tutorial is done, because then you'll have even more information. <laughs> or very easily available information because uh, ease of use is kind of the focus and also not to make it take a million years or like an hour to get the basics of something you could say in two sentences. Mm. Uh, that's nice for the throat to drink something that's not just water. Uh, it's a nipon soap. I don't know what you call that in. Is it nipon in English? Let's let's just not Google on that machine. Mm. So no. This is what I'm drinking. It seems to be a kind of Swedish thing, maybe. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna like it for teaching deaf least interval self tasks. List has tr in in greater than in instead of deaf least interval self tasks in count me in. <laughs> uh, and this is like also a basic course, you know. So this will be very simple. Um, I have, I can show you a part of, I guess, th how far I will go in Python. I will do like classes and I, is this the one? I'm not sure. Um, but what I always do, let's actually do something that works instead of an example. Um, the assistant thingy. Uh, this... All oh, right, sorry. I know why it looks off. Because I usually open my obsidian in VS Code. And then you can see the Python code. <laughs> Because this is not very nice looking, but you kind of could see it here too, but it's easier with colors. Did it open? Well, that happened. <laughs> um, I think my VMs are a bit heavy on my computer. So, can you still hear me, people? Okay. Yeah, did, did you see? Did, can you see me? Can you hear me and can you see me? What time it is? 
Um, I'm actually going to look. Um, before I do anything else, I'm going to turn off. I can hear you. One of the VMs, so you can't see me then. Oh, the camera is off. Uh, I think. Um. Oh, let's see. I'm just closing the VM no. that we're not using. Okay. Uh, I let's see here. I'm just doing shut down on the Windows 11 one, or if it was the Windows 10 one. I think it's the Windows 11 one. So, and then I'm going to click my activate on off on my camera. Uh, and did it close streamer but too? I think it seems to be up. Can't you see anything? Because it closed several windows. <clears throat> This was interesting, uh, especially since I didn't think I was using much stuff. I can see your screen. Yeah, but you can't see me there. But not you. No, okay. I'm giving it another go on the activate thingy. Then I may have to do something else too. Uh, I can turn that off for now. Good that you can see my screen. Uh, I'm thinking, what don't I need that I'm running? Because uh, I know that OBS, my OBS behaves funny when I have too many tabs open in Firefox and it's not supposed to crash from that, you know. Uh, and the TTS works as it should, that we know, I can hear it. Um, I have another tab open there too, though. Uh, let's close that one. It was actually watching the stream. Uh, I have something open on letting members in Discord groups assign roles. Join the Discord if you haven't. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fix the camera. Just closing a few things down. You know, we just have one Firefox running. And closing this down, and then we have one Firefox that I was not actually using. Um, let's save that one too. We can actually close Firefox. I don't use it right now. Um, so we have Streamerbot, we have Sami, we have the TTS, we have the V virtual machine. Uh, but I would assume eat too much memory. <laughs> Though, how much memory could I have been using? Uh, apparently, when I started VS Code, it didn't work. So I'm going to. I'm a bit curious, how did VS Code, starting VS Code, affect my camera? Uh, I do have Arian running that I haven't been using for several days. My machine has not been restarted in several days, in other words. Uh, uh, no other... I have Discord. Discord always crashes my computer. Discord closed when this happened too. So I'm closing that fully. It was just still in the notifications there. Uh, so let's go for the camera now. Uh, let's just I'm turning it off fully. Theo says, um, "I have fixed it forty-two. I have a few problems, but I'm sure they'll be back. The Hope you my... are all good. There, my camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. How, how are you?" Let me just. I usually do this every time I start the camera because I don't have autofocus. So I half click the the take a picture button. Welcome in Theo. What's up today? Good, good. Good, good. That's good. Uh, and you caught me just when my computer. I started VS Code and it said, oh, 
let's close a few windows. I think the error message actually said that. Closing a few windows. Uh, that's kind of interesting. Error message. Lol. So let's again Arduku try says, starting Obsidian. Your sound source seems to have changed. Okay, let's see. Maybe my mic here too went and died. It was something with USB there, definitely. So my audio went crappy, I guess. I still have the same mic. Hi B7H30. Um, I can remove this and we'll get speaker audio for a bit. Make sure they are not on and stealing the mic. So if you say something now, my the DTS should go to the speakers and they're on. Yeah. So let me do a test here. Fix it says. Yes. Test. test yeah when i'm trying to test the tts see you when you comment out your messages <laughs> um anyway so the tts works now the tts will have an echo i will do testing testing so and i will use the other ear here so does the mic sound as it used to? Is the mic okay? What do you think? Is the mic okay now? Did I fix something? Or did nothing change? Uh, for me it looked good all the time. Um, if you look at my OBS here, uh, you can see... My, so in my settings I still had the blow mic specifically set here. It's my mic, and uh, that's still there. Uh, but you know, Windows and audio, <laughs> you don't have that much control. Anyway, so the the stream just crashed. Hmm. Arduku says it sounds okay, but when said, it sounded weird. Okay, so I I, I guess that maybe th this stole the audio mic. You know when. OBS crashed and all that happened, so something odd. Uh, so now we have uh, this open where we actually can see colors. <laughs> There's colors. So um, this is how I do a class with the self parent in the init. And that's very useful. <laughs> and I think we should be like that by default. But that's kind of... Uh, we'll see how much I'll put into the course. But it will be learning programming from scratch for the first bit. Uh, and then maybe there will be more. So uh, I'll add parts, uh, you know... I may never stop. Let's close this down <laughs> and let's just check how our memory is doing. So, yeah, we had 11 before and then we did not have a VM running. And now we had just have one VM left because I closed one of them. The one we weren't actually using. Uh, kind of stupid to have it running anyway there. So maybe it just hit the roof and OBS has been... I have to say, I recently for the first time installed plugins. And I... I'm not using much, but... Uh, Ivan Abel says, What about best font for programming in your IDE? Uh, I'm more, I care more about the size of the letters, actually, <laughs> than the font. I don't have any, um, I, I like keeping the default if it's okay, because then you don't have less to set up. Um, 
So, but the coloring is of course very nice. This is not nice to open in obsidian code. Um, so, if we go down to the actual course text, because uh, I have code that uh, Python here, then that I'm going to add. Th these are my thoughts on what I'm going to add, uh, like basics. Um, uh, so I need to structure it a lot and, you know, try to make it uh, so that it's easier for people to learn. So, but the first part of Python is actually in this running Python from the command line uh, bit. We do hello world. <laughs> That's the end of that bit. So then the actual, uh, and also I mentioned variables. And it will be more in the Python tutorial for beginners. That's this part or this course. It's kind of separate, but kind of attached to each other still. Um, <clears throat> so this is kind of finished now. And I say kind of rather word. I'm sorry. Uh, it's very annoying when people keep repeating the same word. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to type let's and now first in every sentence when I do this, but I'm sure here's a now, here's a let's. <laughs> let's. I can see them everywhere. I have to go through and check everything so I don't add these all the time. Um, Because you want to bind stuff together, but when I'm later, I upload a video to YouTube and I find myself typing the text there. And it's all these repeated, or even when I, uh, I probably find it also when when editing, you know, the video, of course, cutting away. I I, I know I did that last time. I cut away so many of those, uh, or just muting that part <laughs> to make it a, sound a bit better. <laughs> uh, so, do you have the best font pro for programming? Huh? Uh, um, anyway, we're going to actually go for idle now. That was the purpose of following this part of the instructions with installing Python. Uh, we won't do the Python command line test because I have already tested that. Um, And also, I'm not the kind of person that remembers the syntax for every language, uh, but I usually just have to check it again, and then you know, then you have it in your code and you can see it. So I know, um, I don't know if I know too many programming languages to remember all the separate all the syntaxes and the different ones, but I know that I what did I Google for C sharp yesterday? I don't remember. Something just what is the syntax for this? Um, just to make sure because the debugging in um, uh, in streaming bot is not perfect. Mm -hmm. So, how far let's start with this one. This is from like a month ago. Oh, so that's kind of the introduction, that's the same, similar. Hi and welcome to this tutorial. This is the second part in my series on installing Python, setting up editors and getting them started, using them. We also have tutorials on Python programming and uh, I'm, I've shortened this bit down. This was the first episode. So it says it's a tutorial for beginners and a quick answer to Python for programmers. Today we're going to take a quick look at the editor that's all that is installed. Um, I'm not sure I like that. Today we're going to take a quick look at the editor that is installed when you install Python. Maybe that's easy to understand though. Uh, idle is an IDE. And this is the first, we, we tried notepad and we tried the, the command prompt Python in in the first one there. Um. I don't really... Did we run it, actually? Yeah. 
uh, but I'm not sure. I I may add something more here when I actually do it. I don't tell them how to exit the command prompt. <laughs> um, so idle is an IDE, an integrated development environment. The difference between using a simple text editor like Notepad and using, and then I just stop typing. <laughs> Probably my kids calling right. Mm. The difference between using a simple text editor like Notepad and using uh, an IDE. Uh, what did I intend to type? I mean, there are lots of differences. And how much was idle do? I don't remember. It was at least half a year since I used it. That's kind of why I wanted to install it and really look to... And also to have exactly the same, you know, the menu options and everything. <coughs> uh, and I'll probably do the recording on a virtual machine too, so that it's... Not all of my old stuff in there. Um, I used to actually have idle down here. But then I switched to VS Studio for, for that too. That's, my god, which is, all the wishes a new name. Microchip is a new name. Yeah. Oh, that's for, like, small processors and stuff. Um, so I think I cleaned out most of the idle stuff. I had shortcuts on Python files and things before. Uh, but it's not like I'm suggesting that you use idle for Python programming. It's more that I, it's already there. So if you just want to get started, do it. It's easy, it's there, it's installed, but what we need to know now on the machine that was, was just going to do when the crash happened um, is to... let's see here. Alright, I need to put OBS up on my third monitor so that I can see when I switch screen. I want to confirm I actually did it, that it worked. So, uh, we were just checking the paths. The different paths that this uses. And we had opened two of the directories, launcher and scripts. But that's the two top ones, I think. So if we take edit on this, we see it enter script. This ends with, this is the one we haven't used. Let's copy this path. Well, this ends with launcher. So these are the paths that Python itself, if you check it, makes. Um, and I don't assume it added this path here now. So that was the reason to go there. Let's close these windows. Saving all that memory, right? Um, uh, and also let's uh, control R. Uh -huh. Windows R, of course. Windows R, and paste that path. So now we have these three paths is what is in the path. Uh -huh. And we have Python, we have Py, and we have pip. And the installation also said that we can run commands with Py. So I'm kind of interested in this, because I have not seen this before. Uh, so let's just cmd. I think I'll do that instead of PowerShell. Uh, I don't know which one would assume is easier. Um, if we type pi. 
this is the same as Python. Is this just if we stop that and we type Python? I would assume we get exactly the same text, no differences, right? So this is just a shortcut. It kind of looks like a shortcut too. Um, oh my god, that's big and odd. <laughs> um, I'm curious. Let's make sure that you can see what I'm doing at least. So we know where it is, of course, we are in the directory. So this is an exe file. Maybe we could have looked this when we were looking earlier on the text file naming. Uh, let's try that at once. So if you do properties as this, it says use, we can't see the .txt. But if we click in... Oh, that version, that's not available here. Here we have the name at least. So details, you can see the name with .txt. Uh, that's good to know. There. So, and we have Python and Python W. And here we have Py and Py W. So they're like trying to make us type less, I guess, at the command prompt. The question is, should we use Python or Py? I would assume this has not been in so many versions, but we're doing the latest version. But Python, what do you think? Compatibility versus the modern versus what is easiest? Easiest is Py. Python is more compatible, probably. I'm getting AliExpress messages. Do I have cool electronic stuff arriving today? I'm curious. Um, yeah, stuff delivered. <laughs> Should we see if we have some packages downstairs? <laughs> I have to go and get them. I think I even hear like a truck. I'll be right back, just getting the house. Ardugu says, well, I would say Python, because as you said, Pi may not work. boxes from from Aliexpress what do you think should we <laughs> it's break time right break time let me just start the camera so you can see ah, or the camera is my s7 which is charged but not on Waiting. Well, I guess I can press it enough. There. It's starting. Uh, this feels like something. Oh. Two boxes. And a bit of soft and a bit of hard. And a bit of like thin bits. I order much stuff, lots of stuff, but part of it, well, we'll just see what it is. Um, 
definitely break time when you get packages from AliExpress. And it's almost 17. <laughs> um, so let me just start Irian that had just closed on the computer. It might have been part of the curious crash. So this up here. Uh, I heard, by the way, Aruku, uh, I heard you say there, uh, you agreed with Python, uh, and I think it's, it's the safest bet in case someone would happen upon an old um, installation or something. So that's just my phone popping up. Oh, this is my old phone. I didn't even know I had a card in there, but I do. Um, right, so let's just start the app. Irin. And I'm waiting for it to start. Started, it's connected there to my desktop. Let's just line this up a bit. Oh my, this is a messy desktop today. I'm sorry, people. Well, we'll see how much of the mess you'll see. I have to open OBS again here. Oh, that's not a good image. <laughs> Let's uh eerie in on off. Oh, that's funny. We got green. There, so we can see these at least. So um I have no clue what's in these. Should I cheat a bit? Oh, I am cheating, and I like what I see. <laughs> um, I got kind of inspired. Oh, uh, just read Al Hasred's message that he had some kind of flooding in his apartment. Okay, let's see. Oh, I shouldn't cheat more, should I? I just want to have a hint on what I'm opening on stream. <laughs> well, there's so many more messages. How many messages? And I have lots of other messages. So I'll just scroll down for everyone. Let's see? Well, whatever. I don't even know what that is. Um, we'll see what it is. Which one should we start with? One, two, or three? One, two, three. Which one do we start with? You decide. I could at least say that at least something is cybersecurity related. Okay, okay. I can't wait anymore. <laughs> One, two, or three. Tell me. Can I wait or not? Uh, I can fix my OBS because it always moves funnily. There. Uh, okay, well, let's just start with this one. Oh, this is open. What was that? What sound was that? Oh, so these are some sheep lockpicks. Um, I was thinking I would 
have time to make my own to try with before I got these. Uh, and this is oh one of these, but it's kind of tiny. The ones I have is they are much bigger. So I expected this to be bigger. Well, uh, I think there are two of them. This is kind of nice size though, and it feels very sturdy. Though my other ones are much, much bigger. So we have those. Let's just fold these boxes. I think the, the previous ones I got, I was surprised by the they were so big instead. Uh, what is this? Oh, I think this is just like some, you can put stuff in, container. Yeah, just a container for stuff. I think it was very cheap. It doesn't look like it looked on the image, but that's kind of assumed. Um, this is, let's see. Yeah, I think you know what this is. My goodness. Uh, I won't be sending these back, so I'm just throwing the stuff in the trash at once. So this is like... Can you pull it out? Yeah, this is a file, I think. If we open it... Oh, and it's on both sides. Uh, so you have two files. Should we start the microscope? Maybe? Oh, let's just put this power in. We'll see if all cameras dies again when we do this. That's not unusual. Uh, let's start the light up there too. Um, a bit lower light. Something like this. Um, and... Oops. So let's, let's try the microscope here, see if it's... On. It is, but it's not there. So you can see the structure of this. There's a file. Kind of fine. So, and it all fit in there. Um, so it fit in this, all of it. And it's still, though it's soft, it has this plastic protection. Well, um, and this was kind of the same, though it was a drill and a hook. So, uh, can I open it? Uh, it's for getting needles out of fish, I think. I thought it was useful. And this is actually a knitting hook, uh, and this is so tiny. So let's let's microscope this again. Um, somewhere here, it's very tiny, but it has this latch and hook, so you can get stuff. Uh, this is what my knitting machine there behind me has. It does this kind of thing. Oh, so you're supposed to be able to connect both of these. And you can put them in this way too. Okay, so it's actually, sorry. I'm going to make it so you can also switch these. So inside this we have both of those ends now. So, uh, and apparently I got two of those. That's the same thing. Don't have to open both. And there's another package in the package. This feels very tiny. Um, I don't want to break anything. Yeah, do you know what this is? Maybe one of these? 
No, that's not useful. This? Are they the same? Oh, right. I've renamed one of them. There. So we can see both the microscope and this at the same time. So this is actually for putting on your phone. So it can out of the charging port there and you can hang it like around your, you know, around your neck or something. So that's nice. Uh, I will try. I think it has like glue on them if you want to, but I'm thinking just putting it in this will probably do it because it's on air tight. It won't fall off. Uh, and this won't fold. Let's just ready for that. Uh, so that's the first package. I'm going to open the other one too, of course. And we'll have to open this. Luckpick. Premier <laughs> Luckpick set for cheap. This is heavier and this is lighter. Heavier or light first? We'll see. Oh, right, right. Are those your lockpicking? These are lockpicks, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll skip the that one. So these are lockpicks. We'll have to open that. And I've never, ever even seen a lockpick live. So uh, that's how much I know about that. But I got inspired. And this is just wires. We can open all the packaging. Electric wires. Uh, so here. Oh, it's Single packaged all, all over. Uh, these are not. I think um, that's nice to remember what I actually ordered. Uh, let's feel how they feel. There are holes here, so you're supposed to lead them through. As everything, it looked bigger on the... Uh, I will almost have to measure one of these, because it doesn't feel very long. I need a knife to open this. So... Uh, these are supposed to be kind of soft, but this feels kind of hard. Uh, it, oh my god, I can't see how good we have a microscope so we can actually look at this. Oh my god, they look very red. This is a microscope, meaning we can... Am I doing it the wrong way? I think so. We should have focus at about 10 centimeters. There it is. Oh my goodness, this is too high up. Yeah, I can see there are... Uh, let's do this. I'm going to sheet and put this up on my big monitor so I can actually see something. And this should be about the distance. Uh, where is it? My goodness. It's so hard for me to actually find it. There. Hey, fingers. There. We can see. Oh my god, this is. I can't hold it still enough. I'm going to max out the, the zoom and then I'm going to try to put it in the right place. It looks multi core. Yeah, it's multi core, but I was looking for a better image. There. Oh my goodness. Uh, with this kind of zoom for the microscope, uh, I would need it to be. 
There it is, at least. So we can see them. Though it's kind of, it felt like it was not bendy enough. So I had to check. But it is not, not bendy. So this is supposed to be, I think it's five meters. Here's the information. So there. So five times five, twenty-five. Um, should we just... Well, the box is not very beautiful, though. I'll probably just put this in a pile. Or in a smaller box. I'm just trying to keep it together again there. So we have these colors. Oh well, let them put them in here. Random order, just not to roll off the table. And we can see the colors and I'm starting to guess that this is five other colors. Yes, but it felt um, like a different weight. So these are 20, so yeah, maybe it's not a different color these, but the same color, just a different size. So that could, would explain the difference in weight. Oh, my trash is getting full. Where is it? Oh my god. It feels here. There it is. So the same colors, but a tiny bit tinier. So I think these are actually 10 meters each. So that's much more weight. Yeah, 5 times 10. So this is 50 meters, and this is 25 meters. So that's why. And that's also why I bought this. I think the price per meter is much cheaper, you know? These are big bigger if you're making cables to uh, I'm going to make like a power supply board like in front of me so I can just plug into 5 volts or whatever I need uh, we don't need to open these two or should we we still have the microscope there so why not look at these two uh, but the weight is much heavier on this mm. So now I'm putting them in, in the actual order. Oh, what happened? It's all green again. Uh, Arian is not stable right now. Or it's not possibly never been stable. But I think since I updated, I tested different apps. Uh, I know how to solve this problem though. Now let's go studio mode. Uh, I'll do another Activate, deactivate first. This is what, or deactivate, activate. That's what that button does. It's still flickering. Uh, so let me go to um, Irene, this cam, and um, on this one, I need to go to properties. It's on my tiniest screen, so I can't see a thing. Have to switch monitors. There, properties. <clears throat> and this is uh, 3840 times 21. If I switch to something else and then switch back, it usually stops flickering, like 1080p. There. Um, and then let's try going back. And I probably have to deactivate, activate. And it's kind of disconnected. <laughs> it's funny that I spent a whole stream on researching which the best, best camera act app is. And then when I actually found one I liked uh, and that was stable and had no problems. And it stopped working because I updated my Windows program. 
<laughs> so if you have a working Windows program, don't update. I'll have to see if I can find that version. But I usually I'm thinking I can I can install it I can download it again if I need it. I don't save the old installation files. I'll have to go to the web page and see. Maybe there's a new version with bug updates. Um so let's go can you see that? No you can't see. So Hmm. I don't know why the why the Arian app disconnected from the camera. Oh my goodness, the phone is crazy hot. It might just have died. Well, uh, let's go microscope style then. Or I can switch to another phone. Um. I can't touch the phone, it's too hot. That's that's how hot it is. We had the wires, we checked them. I was going to check the heavier ones, of course, for let's see, this is the 50 meter one. Uh, so let's check this one for size with a microscope. So this is supposed to be blurry. <laughs> Let's take the red one this time. And this is just like one size away, but it's tinier. Let's see. We can even see the multi core hair, although they're much tinier. And compared to my finger, you know, it's tiny. Let's zoom to the desk so we can see stuff and put this as high as it goes. We can see bigger stuff. Uh, and now I learned how they lock them too. They turn around and then they do that. So. We have those cables. That's nice for some projects later. Uh, we have these. Uh, I could do full screen, but I think this is kind of okay. What do you think? Um, I'm giving up on Arian since apparently the camera overheated. Closing Arian here. Do you want to save changes? No, I said I want, don't want to save changes. Uh, I had to click several times on discard changes in OBS properties there. So, um, I know I haven't switched the title of the stream. Um, I could do that, but I want to go back to this later, so uh, let's Oops. Oh, do you know what I did by mistake? I learned something. I dragged the text uh, into the previous scene that looks like this. <laughs> and I, by mistake, I dragged the, the title, you know? So apparently we can just drag text into there. Let's just go marking it and deleting to paste. Uh, or to type. Um, unboxing and the testing. Uh, lockpicks. Uh, I'm actually going to try and make lockpicks from, from like stuff like forks. I bought some thin forks and other fun things to play with. Um, copying the other text and saving it in Notepad, of course. There. 
so I'm s updated the stream title. Someone suggested it the other day. Uh, this is not the best camera though to do this on. Huh? So if this doesn't cool off, yeah, it's much cooler already. Uh, so anyone who has no ha any knowledge of this, because I have no knowledge. So this bag is just, it it's kind of feels like it's supposed to be used. Oh, there's a thingy more, of course. Uh, there. One of these thingies, whatever they're called. And we have a thin thingy too. A thin thingy and a thick thingy. Definitely official names here. Um, let me remove the studio mode so I can see what you see. Um, so these, I think these were like very cheap. Uh, and this is definitely the best I have because I don't have anything else. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see the angling of this and how uneven it is. But, well, I don't know anything. But you can see the angle there. <laughs> This is why they're this cheap. They notice that um Soundworks says. Yeah, yeah. Those are called turners. They're meant for turning the tongue once like you set the pins. And this is like rotated. I kind of know. I've seen how you're supposed to do it. Doesn't mean I've ever tried. This is rotated, so it starts straight and then it rotates to the side. I don't know if, if it's visible, but I think you can see how this is straight in one place and this is kind of straight in the other. Well, anyways, we have this kind of odd thing. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. <laughs> what is this? I've not seen this. Uh, and also all the handles are have this curving thing going. Um, so the odd thingy, the turners. And that's a rake. Is it? On this direction? The previous was a hook. Yeah, I think most of them are. Let's see here. Uh, you can see. Uh, so let let me turn them into the middle here, so we can see like this, and I can see this one is so very bent there, but they're not all very bent. I hope it doesn't matter much, or I can try and bend it right with you know tools. My fingers probably won't do it. Did it go a bit straighter from that? No, it just went like. That I can bend it at all is not a good sign, you know? Um, get some pliers here and see if we can fix this one too. Or two and two. I don't know if I fixed it. So this is kind of like this. Uh, but these are, I guess, the more normal ones, right? Um, and they're kind of different sizes, all of them. And there's no special order, I guess, because they're... Yeah, and, and then there's this one. Um, and even the shafts are bent, so... Cheap, 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 very cheap one. Uh, and then I think it's like... Well, maybe they're not as bent as I thought. They're also wider at one section of the handle there. But do you, I do I think says, you can see it's bent too. You can learn how to use those from YouTube, the Lock Picking Lawyer channel. Winking yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. I ha I have seen uh, I've seen videos. So, and I think I also have an, a slightly better set on its way. But since I ordered these from AliExpress, uh, they I think they just took like a week or less, maybe even. Maybe I'm just not certain of time right now <laughs> so very very premiere pixet in a 
one use plastic bag. Um, didn't see anything more on the on the plastic bag. Well, that's that's kind of it, probably. <laughs> I, I just got like uh, one that was actually recommended by I think it was this lock noob that recommended a cheap kit from AliExpress so that one uh, is on its way here too and this one um, and I think maybe I uh, I don't know anyway now let's see if I have yeah I was clean, so I moved some other stuff here. Soundworks says there's only one rake included, and the rest are all hooks. That's strange. Uh, I think that uh, this was, as I said, the, like the cheapest kit ever. <laughs> And there, it's it's very bent. I don't know if you can see how bent it is. Even there. my twenty-five plus year old set includes rakes and bump keys. <laughs> well, you can't bend the plastic into the right direction. So what I bought is actually bought these tiny knives, a few of these. Uh, that are kind of thin. And I was thinking I would try with my Dremel just to change the shape of this we'll see uh, i have a few of these and then i also have a few of these uh they're actually for holding old show holding thingy so these are kind of like a tiny bit bent and there's like this kind of old fork <laughs> or a fork a knife too um it says rust free <laughs> and like another one so this i'm going to try wh when it's a tiny bit hotter so i can sit outside uh, yesterday was plus two uh, and that was but these are the the, th the thinnest one and they're like f five crowns and things like that and i think these were even cheaper um so that's that's like half a dollar or five so it was just some cheap stuff to try and play with. Uh, but I think that don't I have a lock somewhere? Not that I would think I would ever manage my first try. And without looking at something, could I possibly have something here? Let's see, some books. You can't see. Um, I do have some processor too. <laughs> in a random box. Did you see oscilloscope? Yeah, of course, some, some laptop RAM. That's always what you, you need to have available in your random box. Um, what else? What could it be? I'll throw this bag too. Um, potentiometers, that is good to have too. Here we have some batteries, CD player. I probably have something downstairs, um, but I'm kind of sure I should have something here too. This is another of, uh, of the orders. Um, I have, these are kind of nice when you desolder stuff. Oh my god, I should have 
some more air. I'm looking at the closest drawers. And pie. And there's Diddy Sparks. Camera remote control. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Um, the I'm leveling up the search. I'm going to kind of look a bit further out from my desk. Because uh, I knew I had it like two days ago on my desk, but I've been cleaning too much. Beowulf twelve thirteen says, "Have you been streaming so long that you've changed subject from making a Python course to reviewing lockpick set?" Uh, this just come. It's right in the mail. What can you do? What can you do? You know. <laughs> um. So still going back to Python. This is just a break. I think my ne brain needed. I my love brain it. needed a bit of a break anyway. Uh. Hmm. So where could I possibly have put a tiny lock? Uh, I think I'll go downstairs because I know downstairs where there's a lock. Though it's probably tiny and extremely hard, uh, and I've never also, the even seen a lock. Voice is awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's also nice for for me to not have to, you know constantly read but it's good for everybody of course uh, and also it makes it possible for if you're driving a car you can still watch a stream like listening to it I think that's nice so maybe two minutes maximum I, don't, I think it will be quicker Yeah, that makes me happy because I'm often watching streams while driving and would love to be a part of the chat without endangering myself or others. Um, so I guess the best tip is always to try <laughs> your first ever, first time you've seen a lock pick, the first time you try to pick a lock, try a rusty tiny lock that is, of course, very easy. <laughs> no, but I found a few. We have this box, or rather it's a drawer in an old table with a few locks. I know that this one, <laughs> uh, I think it was 
like the lactic in lawyer I saw doing one of these and giving it the mark that um, you had to be a pro or uh, you cut it open kind of so that's a lock that's a lock it probably has a key here somewhere uh, and the good thing with these is we don't we're not currently using them right oh my god there were lots of tiny locks so tiny uh, and there's lots of keys too and stuff and this is actually from when i bought my car so um we have some locks and i don't assume i will you know open anything the only thing i want is to actually feel i i i order one of the claire locks too but if i could like feel inside the lock that's that would be enough for me you know to f feel how it feels to feel this moving so maybe this is not a horrible thing that the other camera died maybe the microscope is kind of good for this anyway though it's angled this way um i could change this let's see if we do this angle it will be more straight down um and i can zoom it so that it's actually visible like this and even my bad eyes can see that there's actually but they also can see the rust so this is from a training place in sweden uh so it's well can you read stuff on locks i guess that's who made it and this is the place that that used this so if i take one of these and i feel on this this is the first time I've ever felt any of these. So if I just feel like if I can push this. Oh, I can. Well, that's so cool. And it's very easy to push this too. So I realized that I have to use one of these turning thingies to feel any kind of resistance. But I have no clue how to try it. So we'll just... I guess we'll just try this one. And that will probably take too much space, right? And it won't fit like this and that's not our direction we want it to go we want it to go this way right but if i put it here then i can't see it anymore if i would try to put it here i don't think it works even yeah maybe it would but it's very oh i don't think you can see what i'm doing so if i would try to put this here it kind of turns it, but it's also very loose and would fall off straight away. Should I try the other thingy? Will it fit in the down end here? But then it would have to move it, try to move it this way, and I, I could never fit in the, this thingy, right? Thingy is very official words, and I don't know which one of these would be better. So I just took the first one to the one of the sides. So have any of you done this? Because I watched some YouTube videos, you know, that's and I've seen people doing it on stream. So it was kinda Tiberius that got me inspired to to try this well I, I, i'll just i'll just try and try and hold all of this i'll, I'll probably do it upside down because that's the only way i can hold it i think then it is actually open now the lock i don't know if that would matter because i would still feel i can turn it right so uh, for someone i guess it would matter i just want to try and feel how it feels when it's soundworks says Ideally, you yeah. put the turner in the top part of the opening with gentle pressure, while the hook inserts below to tickle the pins. Yeah, but since I didn't manage that, maybe I should well, try it anyway. now the bottom of the opening since you rotated it. Yeah, yeah, right. So, so let's, let's try, because the other bit just fell out when I tried this. So I, I'm, I have a gentle pressure there and it fell out. Uh, so... I think if it was thicker, 
it's kind of thin, then it would fit easier. So it's so short to the first pin, it's just like, well, if I do this, this is how much it has to, and it's round too. It's not like clear angles. Is this more clear angles? Maybe. I think that's the cheapness, right? It's it's probably shouldn't be rounded corners on this. Maybe I can just just do anything and maybe maybe this will actually stay there. But now I can't see that pin that I wanted to see because <laughs> I never even tried to feel this. So if I um, almost don't push it all on this. Can I still feel pushing this thing? No, I don't think so. Let, let me just try with no pressure to see if I can move this. Because of course I can't try here. <laughs> I think almost I did. So this, if I try turning it at the same time as this, let me just try feeling further in in this. This is hard. So I feel I can move this thing. That clear one would be nice if it come, arrives tomorrow, not in a month, right? Uh, maybe I should check my phone. F time to check phone. Uh, so we have... Did we get another one? No, let's... Uh, that one. There you can see the price of that one too. <laughs> That's a Swedish crown. So. Um, that was like the most expensive thing I bought. Orders. Um, In my country region, I'm looking for the arrival of the Clairlock <laughs> and the price in Swedish crowns is 28, which is 2.8 dollars, kind of, 3 dollars, so uh, I expect the best quality. <laughs> um, but let's see what's important here. Track order. So it says it's past customs in Sweden. Um, or it's at customs. Arriving. Now that's dates that have passed already. So, um, the estimation there, the 28th, <coughs> that's probably the, the longest date. Uh, well, let's continue. I, I just took the, the biggest one. I think this is kind of as big though. Uh, this is uh, another lock. You can see how used the key is. Oh, this may be even from when I was a kid, you know, old locks. And this is much tinier. I think it looks tinier. What do you think? Which would be easier for a new person to? I don't think these tinier locks. Funny you can get a $3 item from China faster than I can get an RMA replacement from one of my network manufacturers for a small business. <laughs> Oh, but uh, I guess that the date probably said like a month from from the start and then they kind of shrink and uh, then they, some of things, I heard someone actually getting something after three months. So it's the thing that you can't trust it being quick. So this lock would probably be impossible to get those things inside, would it? You see the size there? It's different. It's... But it's not, doesn't have one of those big thingies in the way. What about this one? This is definitely from when I was a kid with one of those rings on it. Um, so let's see. That's the last one, right? 
they kind of look the same, all of them. But this was very smooth to put the key into. So it's not as rusty as the other ones. <laughs> Is that what I should go for? The the least rusty lock to try? And this is kind of, kind of too, kind of working. First test, will it open with its own key? I should try this lock that we've tried on. Um, where could I put the key there? That's probably one of these keys. Probably. That says Ikea. Uh, so I don't think it's that key. Probably some desk key. Um, oh. Look, it has the same letters. Sats. So, this should be the key, I guess. Oh. It doesn't even go back by itself. Maybe that's not a good first try. Maybe I should do the the one that at least doesn't... This sounds better. <laughs> uh, and this one... Yeah, it's it's tinier, but maybe the key is the same size? Uh, trying to look between them. Yeah, I think the, the actual lock thingy is the same size on that one. And this is tinier. With a tiny, tiny key. And let's put that back in the box. And this one is ti tiny, tiny key too. Well, you can't see anything here. It's a tiny, tiny lock with a tiny, tiny key. Um, I'm going to try and start the other phone again so you can see more of an overview too. The desk camera. And uh, I'm looking to buy a better camera. Because that's annoying when the phone overheats and... Last time it did three hours without problem. And now, what was it like? 10 minutes? Mm. Oh, this is one of the best screwdrivers, by the way. This is so handy to have like in the car or something. So just try, try to unlock this one too. Yeah, it kinda, kinda sounds a bit and now this one stuck, got stuck at the locked thingy. Well, it goes back if you help it a bit. Oh, I'm not even sure what they're supposed to do. We have three that are not very rusty and doesn't sound a lot to try on. What do you think? Let's, let's see if we can get an image again from this one. I think it died and turned off. No, it's still on. And maybe break time is over too. <laughs> uh, the app is definitely off. So uh, I'm trying to put the cable in a different place in case that was part of the problem. So if we do air in and it's waiting for a connection. Uh, I closed the program, I guess. Uh, we'll see if the cord is actually in the way of the camera. Uh, let's start Irene again. We'll see what happens. Let's go to desk so we can see if it pops up. And I think it should pop up. Um, <laughs> One hour and 90 minutes since the crash. I have an image on my screen. Um, that's a manual page. Desk 2. The the desk is not up yet. I'm going to do try my says, activate the activate. Does this look like one of yours? Web link. Mm, YouTube link. <coughs> mm. 
It is an obvious lock. Okay, okay. Um... My Firefox. I started Firefox again. You know, I closed it. It wants me to type my key password. So, better do that before I start the desk cam. Uh, if we can get it started with this. <coughs> so, <coughs> as I have uh, on my right screen now, this. Uh, let's first see if I can get the camera going uh, I'm not doing yeah I'm doing studio mode so area in this cam is black if we look at the properties we get a green image on camera 2 but there's nothing on camera 2 so if we go to go back to camera one, I'm sorry for this being black to you. Let's let's show you what I'm doing then. Um, so we have to click again. The it jumps when when you click uh, to change the scene from somewhere else. The scene with activated hair and the scene that was active hops to the other one. Uh, and it loses what I put there. That's kind of annoying. So we have this all black, but it is there's an image in the program like this. You can see this is Irian. Uh and it's not glitching right now. <sighs> this is so annoying. So device default, custom, and this app used to just work, and I opted it. Why did I update it? We're simply not getting anything. So let's see if it's because we have another camera that's using it. Because this is actually using the same camera input. Nothing there either. Um, I'm kind of willing to give up on this and I kind of regret that I uninstalled Camo Studio because that worked even though it kind of broke my main camera and microscope and stuff and stole them. Uh, I don't think I have Camo anymore. I'll have to reinstall it if this doesn't work. Um, so if I it's connected to USB. This is seriously annoying. Well, we have another alternative though. Uh, we have... Uh, where did I put my phone? There. We have the IRL option. <laughs> I do have my IRL scene here. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's use that. So... Uh, you can watch my very cute reconnecting image and I'm going to start the, this is quick, IRL Pro, play, broadcast, uh, and I, I have to mute this or you'll have double. Right, this is a problem with my recording, so I guess I'll stop the recording. And we'll see if we can connect there. So now you can actually see my desk with me holding it and with a delay. I did mute the mic so you don't get double mic anyway. That's, that's something at least. Uh, we could also turn on the camera. And that died so we have to activate, deactivate this mess with the USB connections. Uh, that's my Sony camera saying I am trying to reconnect here. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, camera. You can do it. Well, whatever. Whether you can see me or not. I'm clicking it again. Uh... We can at least see stuff there with a the delay. Right now I'm filming much closer. <laughs> and there we actually saw the image. So these locks are kind of kind of old locks. 
Uh, and I guess most locks in Sweden are Alva's locks. <laughs> um, I could put this up where the other one was, but we have the delay in those horrible things. Do we have something that could hold the phone for me? Yeah, I do. Just moving my glue gun and some random electronics things that you will see in a bit, but then I will probably not be showing it actually anymore. So, yeah, right, I can show you what I'm doing. We can try this one. Or we could... Uh, we could take one of these joiny ones. I think, I think I might... Uh, maybe just this. This is kind of odd to <sighs> to show it like this. Okay, let's turn that off for now. Um, let's see if I can manage to put this together with one hand. What do you think? One hand. Well, we have another alternative. This is... I, I have no idea how this will look. But... Oh, that's a very wide angle. It's too wide. Uh, and you should see that if I talk, I don't talk on the actual image there. So now let's try this because I would prefer. <laughs> Leo says. Oh, well, looks great. Oh, great. <laughs> so let's um, let me put this in here this time. I can see my old D300. I tried that lens actually on the microscope and the image is delayed. Uh, there's the microscope. So I, I put that on there. <laughs> there's images in this card. Gasp. Lock picking now. Yes. <laughs> well, um, I've never tried and I, I, ha I ordered this uh, clear lock too, but it's it hasn't arrived yet, so we'll see what happens. So how can I possibly put this in between me and the keyboard? Maybe from the side, because this is not really very stable even. Um, all the mess on my desk. No, that didn't work. Um, this, I, I should have taken another phone holder, because this is too heavy for this. I, I put this tiny little leg out straight out and when I angle this the weight is too heavy so we'll see maybe now it's it's just flat on the ground now flat on the ground there's the cables we had <laughs> when the end, back leg just is standing straight up. <laughs> oh this is funny should I put all three legs to the front side and it won't I have a small set of lockpicks. It's fun, smile, funny. smile. Uh, and this is the first time I've seen a lockpick. <laughs> so, um, let's take one of these, just at random, I guess, and hope it's not very bent. And there's a delay. Uh, so if I say now and move my hand at the same time, you will see when my hand moves, how much of a delay that is. So I can do this. Uh, I don't think you have double audio at least, right? So uh, with the turning key of the keys, they they kind of end up like this because they're all locks. This one is more showing me. And this one, yeah. But these were the best ones. One was very rusty and said, 
no nice noises. And I know that I put this on when I was like a kid, when I was a teen. <laughs> oh, I had these on my keys. So they're old. So which one would you think is the easiest of these? What do you think? And we also have the link to check. Uh, let me just move some stuff. Because I, I don't want to move the camera to show you now, but there's stuff on the other side of my table too. And these, we just unplugged these two. Uh, and that's my tea. And my kids' stuff. And that's where I put the, the knives that I'm going to try to make um, lockpicks from later. And we lost the, the main camera too, of course, there. Uh, since we're not using Irian, I'm going to turn it I'd off I'd start with now. the smallest lock with the fewest teeth. Do you think the smaller locks have fewer teeth? And yeah, right, I can look at the keys. So if I look at this key, um, let's do the microscope instead. Uh, this key, how many would this have? Is it? How many is that? For the tiny lock? Experts. <laughs> Everybody that's seen a, a lockpick before is more expert than me. Two well, or three pins, maybe? Oh, I have no idea. Is this like one and two and three? Or is it like one, two, three, four, five? <laughs> I can try and listen. I think it's three. Now I just heard two. Oh, how did I hear three the first time? Whatever. Um, what I wanted just first was just to feel how it felt to move one of these. And I could do this with this camera here. So if I just manage to... I'm looking at the same image you are here. So um, maybe we should zoom out a bit so I can... Now it's touching the table there. Uh, so... If I try angling my hand so that I can touch this, oh my god, I can't move that. Yeah, now I could, there, but this is an odd angle, right? I can move it. This is the first time I tried reaching further into there. I feel this is, this is like this deep, that deep. Uh, all the way. Um, I can just tr see if I can feel. I would like to have tried first with the. I could just stop this, but I just want to see if I can just to start feeling how it feels to even move one of these. I have no thought of actually. Do you, do you think it's better to lock the lock? Should I lock it there? Is it easier then, or is it like different inside? Um, I have no idea. I'm just feeling how the end of it feels now. It feels kind of smooth all the way when I just pull this like out like this. But it's probably because I'm I'm probably trying to push this one instead of pushing here. So I guess I would have to either have a very tiny one of these that's smaller. Do we have? Is this smaller? I think so. Is it smaller? Then maybe I could be above this and, and try and reach something. Maybe I just have to be. Do you, what do you do? Do you, do you have it like this on the side? Because I can move this one. Um. I know how to turn it too. I just want to see where on earth I'm supposed to move these first. If I even try. Maybe it's just a stupid idea to try these locks. And I should just stop it. And I should accept that the break is over and I should continue with, with the Python. Oh, look, my camera 
pop there again. Let's see if we can activate it. Last time this happened, I just turned it on and off and it worked again. So I'll do that if it just worked like this. Also, my ear is getting sore, so I have to switch ears. I hate having this in my ear, but that means you don't get an echo on the TTS. Um, so. Um, should I try that YouTube link? Let's see. Oh my, that's a bit up. Um, I don't want to click the link in OBS and that's where I'm reading chat. So that's why I didn't just click it at once and open instead of um, Firefox and pasting the link in there. The YouTube link. Oh, it says 5560. Did, that, did it say that on this one? It's 5540. So. Arduku says. It might be the same type of lock hob as 5560. Oh, right. I think that uh, the maybe this is like 4 centimeters and that's 6 or something. I don't know. The, it, that looks much bigger. Much bigger. Well, kind of like this big. Something like this. Um, and this one is 55-30. So 30 uh, and then 40 and then I guess there would be 50 and, and that's 60. So the size between these. Um, right, that's also why the camera popped back. So if, if we look at these, the size difference of these. Um, if you can see, I don't know. So that's 30 and 40, so I guess 60 would be kind of much bigger than this. But I think it's maybe the same kind of lock thing in there. And that's key from what I learned on watching YouTube Theo videos. says. Oh, it's just I start with the tension in, and they stick the rack all the way in and work my way oh, back to back. the opening. How come it took such a long time there? Anyway, um, let me hold the locks up again. So these two, uh, that's 30 and 40, and the one in that video was 60. So I would guess there would be like two sizes up from this. And I'm thinking, th and this is the biggest lock I have uh, here. So maybe this is just hard to start with these tiny ones. This one is somewhere like in between these, maybe, in size. Uh, and it's got no name on it. And also, let's see what the keys look like. Oh, what's this way? Um, this key, though, kind of looked like... Maybe this is easier, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I have a thing in my OBS that removes the camera when I go to this scene. Um, so I'm going still to see if I can fix the camera now. And you can see also how... <laughs> Let's turn it on. And turn it on. And I will try to have the dodge under the microscope here. Uh, if we get an image to get focus. Waiting, waiting. I could try. Uh, <coughs> I seriously feel that. I should wait until that lock comes anyway. I started with a master lock that looks about the same size as your small locks. Okay, okay. Uh, and you didn't have any clue how to do it before? You haven't tried ever? Or so, so something like that? Um, and I felt, let's let's look at these no. in the microscope. Uh, these... Not a clue. 
these were the ones I tried to... I, I felt like they would have been easier to get them to stick there if the corners were not this round. But maybe this is the usual way, I don't know. This one seems even rounder than this one. Um, and this thing, I, it just fell out. Maybe it's just so thin. Maybe I'm just don't know what I do. Of course, says. we could just try. New follower Twitch. This is the biggest. New anyway. follower Arbit random user. So Less if than we three. try to put this in here, maybe Time this lock is, is ten is squats redeemed. Thinner. Oh yeah, we got squats. <laughs> then I have to do that. But then, well, right now you won't see because <laughs> the camera isn't working. Um, so this is a microscope. I'm moving it out of the way just to see if I can actually fix this. Well, we could fill my squats with the camera. Let's see. Um, this is my light. Can we focus the light? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, well, what is this? That was actually my monitor. So the light is further this way. My goodness, this is hard to aim. It's up. So it's this way. It's like it's it's more rotated than I think there. So <laughs> well we have at least a funny bluish image to watch. Uh and we can see my tools over there. And I can even focus on some tools. <laughs> We have tools over there. And can we see me? <laughs> With this camera. <laughs> ah, my god, that's, that's odd. Because, of course, uh, the angle will be different. <laughs> I don't think that was such a hit. Uh, but actually, let's fix the camera. So I'm going to the big cam one. So we just have this camera. I'm making sure that we have closed. Um, let's see, where is it? Uh, no extra programs running on the computer. Uh, I'm going to turn off my... Oh, let's see here. Turning off my... Main... Oh, there. It's... My main camera is off. I'm turning it on again. I'm waiting for the sound of it to actually start. That's off. Is that off? No, I'm actually not certain anymore. If I do this. No, it's nothing. So, I was right. Okay, um, I'm restarting the USB hub. And that should kill my Bluetooth. So I won't be able to hear. Oh, well, maybe that's the wrong one. I'm sorry, people. Let me give you something to watch instead of this. That's kind of boring, right? Uh, though I don't think cameras are very good in studio mode, but we can see them in camera in this one. Uh, I'm going to unplug the... There, we got Bluetooth back. So, as long as I did put the right one, I'm making sure the camera cable goes into that hub. And we put the blue light on, on that one. Uh, so, then... Uh, and also our Sammy phone got disconnected and connected. So I'm going to uh, activate on off on the A68 main camera. Uh, nothing. Uh, then I'm going to try and start the remote control software for the program and see if the camera is busy or not. We also have a virtual machine. Uh, of course, we could have had a question that we didn't notice, where the we get a question if we want to connect this to the virtual machine. 
I'm just making sure that his, the camera was not connected to VM here. And just yell if we're actually getting the camera because I can't see right now. Uh, probably should put it up on another screen. So here we can see <laughs> me too. We have no camera. So I'm going to VMware. I'm going uh, to the VM. I'm making sure that we don't have the Sony ILCA uh, connected, no. So we don't want that there. Uh, I'm going to minimize the VM and I'm going to click on the remote lo icon on my desktop. It's starting here. Uh, camera not connected. Uh, and I can't close OBS and restart that. <laughs> that wouldn't be a hit to have a second break of stream. Uh, so we'll have to see. Usually we have a line here for the camera. Uh, so uh, I think we should have that even if... Um, I'm going to disconnect the power of the camera. That's the last trick I think for this. So now it has no power and I have removed the battery so it just runs on the power cord. And I'm trying to find the right place to put this power in again. Oh my god, that's annoying. I can't see the thing. Uh, I'm actually moving the camera to a very odd spot now, I see. There, got it in. Should have power. There. The camera should be connected. Let's refresh and see if we have a camera. Uh, and you might have noticed we had it in the... Uh, the camera is actually connected here. Here we have the camera. So it is visible to the computer now, and here we have a camera. So if it close, if it would try to connect to this now, um, we'll see if it says it's busy from another program. No, it didn't, and we can we can click here to. <laughs> oh, this is so odd for me because I'm seeing myself the wrong direction. Uh, but we have an. We have contact connection to the camera. Uh, so if we now close that program and uh, try and deactivate and activate in OBS. So we hopefully should get an image. No, there's still something else that wants this camera. Uh, I'm going actually to do studio mode now. Uh, maybe you would like to see though, so let's go. I want it on the right screen. That's, that's where I usually have it. So the camera works, it's connected by a USB. Why can't we see it? So let's go to its actual little place where it is here. Uh, here we have the camera and this is the normal A68. Well, let's deactivate it manually and activate it. Let's see if we get something. Uh, the solution to this problem is to actually close OBS and start it again. And I'm kind of close to doing that. <laughs> so I think we'll have a quick, very quick second break in stream. <laughs> uh, so um, let's restart OBS. Do we dare to restart OBS? We do, because I don't see anything else we could do. We don't have any other programs that would steal it, and it works with the uh, Sony's own program. So, bye bye OBS. <laughs> We're streaming, clicking the yes button.